Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a very special edition of the Bizarre Junkies live stream. I am your host, Austin Alvarez. We got our quite amazing, uh, and I must say the hair is is, is oh, quite cool. feels so cool. good not to have that wrap on, y'all. I have no idea. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be stressed out. I'll be like, I need a break. I need a break from the head wrap. Mm-hmm. So. But we got Miss Black Cauldron, Noah, Brianna, Hello. Brehive. Good afternoon. Bree Master. Yes. Is that what we're going to, is that what we start saying? <sighs> We're going to have to find something. I know. Maybe after this weekend, it'll be bringer of spirits. Uh, nah, don't say I'm bringing them. They was here. They live here. They pay rent. No, they do not pay rent. I can tell you that much right now. They do not pay rent. They pay rent. You know who me. knows that they don't pay rent? George. George, welcome to the show. What is up? Good to have you back. They don't pay rent. Uh, Yeah, no, I clearly know that. Marvin would love he them would, Yeah, he would. Rent. Our finance guy, Marvin. He, he would, would have like, canceled the video shoot for Saturday if they paid rent. Yeah, he'd have been like, like Austin, 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 don't be, don't be <laughs> kicking our, our tenants, okay? They, they pay rent. They're nice people. <laughs> our very special guest for today, who is uh, a former guest of the show, very, very recent former guest. We have Miss Alexandra Harbushka again. Hey, guys. Our what's up? local minister. I think, yeah. I mean, we're going we're gonna to go to church We're just today. going with that. Okay. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's yeah. Do it. I mean, you do plenty of things, so. Yeah. You're, uh, you're all about it. But so, okay. Let's give some give some backstory here. Uh, you and I did an episode last week, two weeks ago. I don't even know. I think, yeah. I think it was last week. It's The days blend. I don't know now. either. I thought today was Friday. It's Thursday, but I, yeah. I, sometimes it's right. Wednesday. <laughs> Could be. But so you and I did a, did a show, and it was quite electric. It's it's over a 1,000 views now. It's awesome. It's getting up there. And uh, my very good friend here, Miss Black Cauldron, was like, "Austin, you need to. We need to bring her back. Mm-hmm. We need. We need to have an open conversation." Yes, yes. I'm and uh, th- that makes me happy that you're excited because I was like, oh, "I don't want like." And I want to preface this now: nobody's here to attack anybody. Yes, we're y'all, so- y'all, please. We're we're a very eclectic uh, mixture of people. My channel has Christians, um, Jehovah Witnesses, spiritualists. Please let's respect everybody's. Personal belief. Like and Shy Trell. Yeah. Which who we love. <laughs> yes. Hey, Shy. Hey, Ambrosia. Shout out to my patrons. I see y'all in the comments. Hey, Yasmin. Um, but yes, I just want to keep it super respectful. You know, we deal with a lot already. Yes. We. I just was so excited. She's like, I did an interesting interview today. I'm like, okay. So he sends me the link. And sorry, I'm, almost, I'm always sitting back like I'm the CEO. So, and I'm like... <laughs> Oh my gosh, you gotta get her. I I have to interview I'm, her. She seems open. She seems different from any other minister that they run from me. I said, please tell her I'm not scary. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I said that's awesome. Like I just I wanted to meet you. So thank you so I'm much. I'm excited to be here. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, and uh, George is our local Bigfoot. We oh the EMF is already going off. Um, that's oh, fun. So we have EMFs fun. on the table. Yeah, and uh, that Do y'all one just see this? spiked. Do you see this? Y'all see this, right? This is happening live. This is a precursor to this weekend, too. By the way, yeah, nice. which it, that's going to be exciting. We've been uh, we've been having some production meetings. George, uh, George, and I are very excited uh, because we uh, everybody in this room we know what's going to be happening. Yeah. Saturday, you'll be getting a call sheet soon. You'll know yes. eventually, but some of it I want to keep in the dark. Um, I'm a little, I'm surprised that our resident, whatever that is, look at him. Yeah. He knows how, is there a way to zoom into this? Um, um we have these EMF devices on the table. Go. So it's it's this one though. It's the And they're going it's the one in front off. Of Mr. Fresh. No, this one is going off like all the way to the red. The one right here? Yes. Oh. <laughs> they both were. Oh, yeah. all right. Well. Yep. So, um as my patrons know, I believe we are doing, you know, a little ghost hunt here in the studio because it's not going to be things. little. It's a full production well, I'm trying to pre. I'm trying to keep it. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, I mean, they we we have one out already, and it's going to be along yes. the same. Yes. The same. We've uh we've gotten our hook up again. I'm not going to say who hooked us up, but the same person who hooked us up last time hooked us up again uh, mm-hmm. with a, a cool uh, IR camera, so we can see in the dark. Nice. Yeah. And um, they also provided us some goodies. Yes. Like some road worn spirit boxes also some other tools which I, I don't even really know how to use yet i'm still looking up how to use them mm-hmm. properly um but we even have i like need these for my house yeah yeah you think your house is haunted of course every everybody has something going through their house so when are we when are we mm-hmm. coming in to investigate your house i don't know when do you want to come <laughs> well we just She's got like i'm gonna come pull your car now when you want to come yeah so i mean <laughs> we just got uh offered so 
uh, the guy who owns the place that we went to last time, Pioneer Saloon, he was on my show mm -hmm. earlier this week. And he was saying that uh, you can come to my house because his house in Good Springs is older than the um, the Pioneer itself. It is. Yeah. Oh, that's the, the house itself it. is like 10 years older. So it's like yeah. 120 years old. He's like, the energy here definitely feels dark. Mm. And um, he was like, I also have a mine shaft in my property, which most houses are due because it was a mining What's a, town. Yeah. What's a mine shaft? That was during the mining? Yeah. Because yes. mm -hmm. that's what Good Springs was. It was actually oh, okay. nicer than Vegas originally. It okay. had this, At one point, Vegas and Good Springs had the same population, which was, I think, 800 people. Mm -hmm. Something like that. They were going wild. Right. Yeah. And so there's a mine shaft that goes straight down. And he's like, I will give you guys first exclusive access to film. Oh. Is that safe? Mm. Well, we're right. not going to go, like, we're not gonna like, go are in. Are you going to send the canary down first? We're going to send Trey, our editor, because he's like 90 okay. pounds. And he offered. He was like, I'll go down there. We'll rope him down. No, okay. really what we're probably going to do is we're either going to get a drone with a light on it or yeah. or hoist in like a GoPro. Right. And yeah. drop it down there. With and the see. candle. Because, yeah. you know, people <laughs> used to die down there, you know? Yeah. Um, that's just scary. Yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get this. I don't even know this discussion Let's started. Go. Mm -hmm. Um, for everybody who is, and I know the Bree Hive is more than excited to be here. We're all excited to be here. Um, we are going to open up questions for super chats because there are gonna be a lot of you wanting to ask questions. I know you have some Patreon questions first, yes. and because they already pay you for that, I want to be respectful of that and make sure we let them yes. get their questions in. But it's $5 to super chat your question. Um, we're going to do probably the first 30, 45 minutes of just the conversation here in the room. Yeah. And then we'll start opening it up for questions from the audience. Okay. So anybody, That's any, perfect. anybody got any, what's, what's off limits here? Anything? No. No Nothing. hair pulling, no biting. Mm -hmm. no, no, no. I'm making this sound so much worse no, than it actually is. Not, it's not Rocky Balboa and crazy. <laughs> <Right. like, right. laughs> um, you know, I, just tell me a little bit about your background and everything, which I know it, but some of my yeah. followers may not. So, yeah, for those of you that didn't hear the podcast last week, Austin had me on and I'm on another podcast and all that. Mm -hmm. But I um, grew up as a Christian. Mm -hmm. Then you kind of shy away from it or like, oh, I'll go right. when I need to or whatever. It's kind of like you can use the example of like the oxygen mask. Like, I hope I don't ever have to call on the, you know, I don't hope I don't right. need the oxygen mask right. to come down when I'm on the airplane, but mm -hmm. I'm really sure glad it's there. And that's kind of how I had that relationship. And then in 2020, I had our son and I just thought like, I am so blessed to be a mother. It's an incredible experience. Yes. How did I even, like, it just, it was an incredible experience to, to go through that. And so I wanted to know God a little bit more. Right. So I went back to school. And okay. one class, the next class, and then end up getting a master's in theology. And since I'm sorry, the way you say that, you make it right. sound like you show up to like a community right. class, right. and then like the next week you're like, I guess uh, I have I a master's now. Yeah. Well, I did. Well, it was one of those things. Like, well, I guess I should go to graduation. Yeah, like, yeah, right. I guess right. we'll do that. Um, so yeah, then I, I got my master's, and I I am someone of faith. I'm someone. I I the, the more. I, I'm a mother, the more I'm like, okay, I want to make sure my son knows God and those things. Right. With that being said, I'm also super into the supernatural. Okay. Um, I'm into the whole psychic side, the tarot cards. I pull okay. my own tarot cards. Okay. So I know that News that is... to me, actually. I didn't know that. Yeah, That's I know. amazing. And so um, I'm practicing. I'm learning. Yeah. Um, but that's something I know as the traditional Christian faith. That's something you're supposed to shy away yeah. from. Yeah. And we, we can get into that. I, right. I, I mean, I'm sure our conversations will just, well, they'll, 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 they'll go. Yes. Yeah. Because, and that's why I was like, I want to talk to her. Let me come in further. Um, because I was like, it's almost like she's a minister, but she's also a spiritualist. A lot mm -hmm. of the things that we do, there it goes. A lot of things that we do, <laughs> um, she does. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, I need to, understand because i've been called a demon i've been called Oof. the devil i've been told i need to plead the blood of jesus and um i was just like but here's this minister who's like you know i put salt under my kids oh, yeah my bed. Oh, right. yeah. yeah and uh, my patrons were like mind blown like she just she said what she put what under her kids bed you know because yeah. we're not used to um, dealing with open-minded Christians. Right. We get attacked on the regular. Um, a little background about me, I have never been super Christian, um, meaning like going into church every Sunday, 
that was never me. Um, we would go to church on holidays. Uh, of course, I knew who Jesus was and I knew um, some things about the Bible, but we just have never been that family. And I never really truly felt at home in the church. Got it. It was very, very hard for me to understand um, how me as a little black girl who was probably stolen, ancestors stolen from Africa, what was I practicing before I got here? Yeah. You know, I had additional questions that not even my mom, they're looking at me like, girl, you're way beyond your years. Just have a seat, you know, whatever. But I've never been, I've never had the connection. And so whenever I got older, I just became just like spiritual where, you know, I'm like, I don't believe in some of the things that go on at church. I don't really condone it as a mother, as an adult. Um, some of the things I felt like were very hypocritical. So I kind of shied away from that type of spirituality and we just prayed and, you know, it was still in Jesus name. Amen. Right. But once I got older and I started divulging into my history, I was like, there's no way there's got to be more. So here I am. I, I understand exactly how you feel. Cause I thought too, like there has to be more and I yeah. want to understand this Yeah. opposed to just taking, okay, you go to church and you, you know, okay, okay, here we right, are. Right. And, and I, and I understand what you're saying too is it may not be the right church for you, or yeah. it may not be the right minister or pastor that's delivering the message yeah. for, for, you know, any of us, like I've gone to synagogue and I'm like, wow, I'm really into this, but I'm not Jewish, but right. I totally feel it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, so I think a lot of us get turned off with religion and because of the structure or mm -hmm. we talked about this, yeah. you're expected to act and do and it was used as a way to control us. Yes. And and I think that that's very unfortunate and it shuts so many people down that, oh, yeah. that we're missing the main point. Yeah. Yeah. And that's and that was actually one of my questions because I had written it down and um, Christianity for me was it's traumatic and it's a lot it's for a lot of people that are spiritualists now something happened to them where they're just like eh, you know and not like you said not every church is going to be for everyone right um but i feel like whenever it comes down to how christians and spiritualists really christians in any other line of faith kind of communicate it's always you're a demon you're demonic <laughs> we can be like literally the same things that Christians fear, low vibrational spirit, mm -hmm. um, just evilness in the world. Some of us pray out of our Bible still. I'm one of them. Um, we have the same fears as y'all, you know? Right. And it's just like, because we deal with things differently, we're demonic. No. And I, when I tell you my YouTube page, I was like, okay... She Something is wrong it. with y'all. I saw three comments today on her YouTube page. Yes. I was like, you need to seek Jesus. And it was yes. like, what? <laughs> and I'm See? like, well, what did I do? I didn't do anything. I'm just being myself, you know? It's it's very hard. And I'm, I'm sure you understand that as well. I think it's really easy for people to judge and pass judgment. So obviously you triggered somebody on some level mm -hmm. and they're just reflecting their inner thoughts onto yes. you, right? Yeah, yeah. That's exactly like, what it is. I feel like that's something also that, that's taught though. Yeah, because mm -hmm. when when I grew up, my experience was kind of similar to, to Noah's experience where I was born and raised a Christian, you know, baptized the whole nine. You know, I uh, used to go to church with my grandma on Wednesdays and Sundays every week. And so this was this was part of my repetition. You know, this is part of what I knew. It was normal it was to life. me. This yeah. is, doesn't it was everybody normal do to this? Me. You know, Bible right. studies on Tuesdays sometimes, hanging out, you know, with, with my pastor, because I went to a smaller church where, you know, my pastor drove a, a Chrysler, you know, like a, a older Chrysler. So it was like a normal home church. And uh, as I started getting older, after I got baptized, uh, because my mom's side of my family are, are Christians, but my father's side of the family are Muslims. Um, but as I'm in a Christian church, they keep on saying Christianity is is it's the thing. Christianity is the end all be all. The Christi only one. Yeah, Christianity is the only one. And so one day I had a conversation, a realistic conversation with my pastor. And I asked him, I said, you know, it doesn't make sense to me because I have more than one religion in my family. And I said, but you guys are saying that Christianity is the end all be all. But why is there so many religions? And are they <laughs> wrong for for worshiping what, what, what they worship? Are they wrong for worshiping Allah or calling, you know, God a different name? 
And, you know, my pastor really couldn't give me an answer at that point. You know, and so it made me really, I, I think now that, now that we're old enough, you know, we're 30, you know, some of us are 40, some of us are, you know, over over 25, Mark. You know, we start asking more realistic questions. You know, we start we start getting into the some of the things like we know that, you know, the Bible was used to control like slaves and stuff back in the day. Mm -hmm. You know, we know that the lineage goes pretty deep when it comes to some things in the Bible. And it's like, but it's supposed to be the end all be all, you know, and it just starts making you ask more questions, you know, and then you start hearing the. You start hearing the adversity that comes with it, right? Like even within my own family, like my mom is a super diehard Christian right now. But my mom, you know, will call Noah, you know, mm -hmm. a devil worshiper and all types of crazy things. Really? And it's like, yeah, yeah, because yeah, that's awful. <laughs> my grandmother says, I told you, my grandmother said, has yeah. said things that like Listen. what I've done has have been demonic. And right. So these are the things that, that we deal with on an everyday basis. And it's like, OK, but it's OK for you to go to the Bath and Body Works and buy a three wood candle and you light it and you sit it somewhere so that your house smells good. Right. What's the difference with me lighting a candle, but just having an intention with my candle and saying that this candle is for prosperity or this candle is for abundance or this candle is for protection? Yeah, I could see. I I, I agree with. Oh, sorry, I cut you off. No, it's all good. It's all good. Uh, <laughs> it's obviously supposed to be it's, an open floor. Yeah, but it's just so many, yeah. it's so many lines that get crossed yes. and so many things that, you know, the the older the older Christians used to do. You know, yeah. where the grandma would tell you, hey, you know, just go ahead, honey, put put a slice of lemons in your socks and, you know, yeah, it'll, yeah, yeah. it'll Wait, pull that coal, right? Yeah, lemon. Uh, that, um, that's because you may not have been around a lot of ethnic people. Yeah, but, onions in your socks, you know, lemons in your onions socks. Onions in your socks, oh, yeah. different yeah. things like that. They'll tell you it'll pull. It's it's, and, and it really out. does yeah. pull sickness out of your body. Well, I always, like, I heard about, like, like you know, my girlfriend's family is Hispanic, so the egg. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait, wait. All over your body, right? Like rubbing yeah, it over yeah. your body? Yes. That's a clip. Sana, yeah. sana, I don't yeah, know how yeah. to say it. Georgina, say it. Uh, yeah, you had it. You yeah, I don't know. Right. After that, I, I, I blank. Same. The, oh, okay. That's all I thought but, it was. but you know what I meant when I said but that. But basically, yep. when you do that, it, yeah. it rubs the bad energy off of you. Just like But now, how... is it because of like what you were just saying with the whole candle thing? Like when I cook an egg, I'm not cleansing my body i mean i probably well, it's not it, it all it's comes down egg, to the intention morning, just rub it yeah, yeah but it's like it's because of the intention you're putting behind correct the yeah egg, correct and then you crack it do they crack it inside of the water and look oh no i mean i've never had it done to oh, me I've but i know part of this yeah but yeah. i've but i've you know because yeah. you can watch you can watch how once you crack it and put it in water you can watch how the egg goes certain wavelengths mm -hmm. and you'll be able to tell a story based off of the direction of the that egg. the and egg goes. A, to my understanding, that is a Hispanic practice yeah. where it's a cleanse, yeah. you know. Um, I want to try this. Yes, it's, <laughs> it's an egg. You just literally rub it all over your body and it energetically cleanses. But you can see if someone is doing root on you, conjuring against you, crossing you, hexing you, um, different things like that. So I just feel like there's more than one way to, to skin a cat, okay? Not Figuratively, of course. <laughs> Wait, no, no, no. What is, there what probably is, are. What is yes. the literal way? Like, no, what right. Is... No, I mean, like, <laughs> you know, it's so many religions. And um, it's just like, I feel like, and I had to give you the disclaimer, like, I'm black, obviously. So a lot of my um, knowledge is in African spirituality, which includes voodoo, Santeria, Ifa, um, Kaboli, different things like that. Um so you call my girl a devil, you called her a witch. And I was like, oh, oh we got to talk. <laughs> Beyonce. I know. You know, everybody knows I love me some Beyonce, right? Um, and whenever, <laughs> not you over here doing it. <laughs> you need a ring? Right. <laughs> so I love Beyonce. Um, and I didn't know why, I didn't understand why you called her a witch. I do feel like some music industry like taylor swift sorry swifties it's a little suspicious because beyonce doesn't have a clone running around or back in the day what's what's her name um taylor swift's who she's supposed oh, to be oh yeah, yeah the satanist yeah the, there's like a there's oh that the um, yeah we've, the high yes. priestess or something. yeah, yeah yes, we've yes. had we've talked about that on the show before you i just yes. can't remember her name but yeah you look uh -huh. at him you're like yes like maybe uh, right okay maybe yeah i feel like i've seen the same thing with beyonce though give me a second okay so the reason why I was like, 
damn, she really called Beyonce a witch. <laughs> You're not the first, second, or millionth person that has said that. Um, because, and I was just like, okay, we need to talk because Beyonce is initiated. What she talks about is the same thing that I'm initiated in. And I strictly be like, I'm not a witch. Y'all don't know what witches are. Like Westerners, they consider witches like, you know, mixing herb, putting mm -hmm. intentions into it. That part, I understand. But where I'm from, a witch is someone who is very, very dark. And I'm like, I wonder what made her think that Beyonce was a witch. Why do you think she's a witch? <laughs> I love this. <laughs> Listen, I went to the, um, her tour, the one uh -huh. she just had, twice. Yeah, how was it? That was beautiful. Best Who, Beyonce? Yes. <laughs> oh, so it's Jay-Z that has the... There's a the photo of somebody that looks just like him in 1933. Yes, I've seen yes. that. Yeah. And I'm not saying the music industry is not dark because I know for a sure fact. As somebody who was kind of in the music industry, it yeah, is very dark. It's very dark. And yeah. um, but and I'm not saying Beyonce have never done anything witchy. I can't give you that girl. She do some questionable stuff sometimes. B, I, <laughs> a picture of her with Taylor Swift. That's all we need to know. You know what? <laughs> and I said, I was like, you know, I get it because there's been put this the stigma out. Where it's like, okay, Beyonce is a, she's an Illuminati, she's this mm -hmm. and the third. And finally, I think she kind of just got sick of that shit and was like, you know what, the jig is up. Um, I'm in E5. I practice your Robin, your Ruben um, practices, which is. I don't know what that is. Okay, so Yoruba is in Africa. Um, that is where we were primarily taken from, the West African okay. kind of. Um, area whenever we were taken from there for the transatlantic slave trade and we brought a lot of our practices over to america not only america to cuba to the caribbean um to brazil we were dropped off everywhere and this is what i practice and a lot of people have kind of drawn to so like whenever we hear people like we don't understand and i'm like that's i want that i want people to understand because this uh, religion is 8,000 years old where Christianity is only 2,000, you mm -hmm. know, ish. It's very, very old and, and it's older than Christianity. So a lot of people kind of talk about it. And I even thought about going back to school um, for like theology or whatever the case is, um, just to get a better understanding because I talk so much about religion. But this this religion is ancient. And a lot of people that studied it and they're like, Christianity is kind of like the watered down version, you know? So it's just hard whenever every time I turn around just for being me, because I mix herbs sometimes and, you know, whatever. They're like, you're definitely going to hell with gasoline draws on. I'm like, okay, meet me there, you know? Because <laughs> it's crazy I'm how you're judged. Lie. This is my wife. And sometimes some of the stuff that, that, that she <laughs> believes... It makes me second guess her, and I'm like, yeah, I, I'm gonna leave that one alone. I'm like, I'm, I'm, nah, for real, I'll, I'll get over here. Sweep and my I'm feet. I'm gonna beat your ass, okay? <laughs> don't sweep my feet. You know, um, don't cross. It's it's the little things, you know. So like, West African traditions were brought over, right? So for instance, we have Santeria, which everybody's like, oh, Santeria, that's the devil's work, right? Um, Santeria is synchronized with Catholicism. Mm -hmm. And it's only because whenever we came over, they stripped all of our religious practices, said, you have to read out this Bible, gave us a slave Bible. And then the people in Cuba were like, we have to still somehow, some way practice. So they were putting little saint statues over Orishas. Have you ever heard of Orishas? Mm -mm. It, Orishas are deity spirits, um, different things like that. So like even now the Cubans, when they practice Santeria, they go to church. They go to Catholic church and they have synchronized these two. You know, like every saint has an Orisha, basically. Okay. So like Beyonce, she talks a lot about Oshun because it's believed in my practice that you are assigned an Orisha whenever you get here and they guide you throughout life, you know? So it's, it, it's just, sometimes it's exhausting. It's exhausting. <laughs> The internet is exhausting. I'm not that gonna I will lie. agree with. It's, it's yeah. exhausting. So, you know, a we lot got, of things. We got a lot yeah, it's on. been. Yes, it's I'm been sorry, good. you guys. These things are going off, and I'm trying not to get distracted. Yeah, the spirit boxes are going crazy right now. Our, our, but what this is the EMF, EMF. This, this, this is the spirit box. I mean, we're not going to use this. No, the EMF is today, going but crazy. But I noticed that it's it's when somebody talks in particular. Yes. <laughs> Do you believe in ancestor veneration? 
What is that exactly? Whenever you praise your ancestors. Yeah. Okay. See, I, you are, I think you're a closet spirit, spiritualist, sis. <laughs> okay. Um, and I even said, she's open. And that's why I was she, like, yeah. She called me and she goes, that's a baby spiritualist. If I've ever seen yeah. one right after the episode. <laughs> so she's going to bring, she's going to bring her Bible and sage at the same time. Yeah. Well, Either I, way, say, we're gonna... I sage my house. Oh my gosh. See? Yeah. She's Are so... you sure you don't want to come over to the dark side? <laughs> dark side. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Why can't she do them both? Yes, be both. So that's what I was in. I knew that you probably didn't know a lot about what we do. So I was just initiated into um, regular de ocha, which translates to like the Orisha praise, right? Okay. Um, and, I feel like I need to take notes because I'm a yeah, little lost on the. <laughs> yes. Um, but before I was practicing hoodoo. Okay. Have you ever, you've heard of hoodoo before? I know you heard of voodoo, but have you heard of hoodoo? I've not heard of hoodoo. Okay, same type of thing whenever we were taken from Africa and brought over here and we were handed the slave Bible. Mm -hmm. And um, of course we were like, we're not, we're not fucking with that. We, we still want to do our own things. So we synchronized Christianity and West African practices. Okay. So like, what does the book of Psalms mean to you? They're a book of, of prayers, basically. Okay. okay, yes. We rely heavily on Psalms and... I like to it's tease. like a spell book. I was going to say, I, I like to tease and say it's a book of spells because I put Psalms on everything. Okay. It's like breast milk. And you know what I'm talking about. Like, you know how your baby get a rash? You're uh -huh. like, oh, I'm going to just put some yep. breast milk on. Anything that's Still wrong, I got a Psalms for it. Yes. <laughs> I have a Psalms for, for that. It's so clutch when you freeze it. Yes. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yes. Yep. It's, it's the best. But it's it's kind of like that. Like we still, when I smudge, I read Psalms 7 and Psalms 91. I love it. How many yeah. times have you Psalms? This show. Huh? How many times have you psalmed this show? Oh, I pray over my head when before I come in here because um, <laughs> y'all got some stuff going on. I don't know why that. Hey, Saturday, going. we're going to get to the bottom of it, okay? Yeah. And yeah. then we're going to cleanse. And then I Look. walked out backwards last time. I did too. You got Joey to walk out backwards mm. as well. Why do we walk out backwards? Because you don't want to bring anything with you. Oh. Yeah. So we bought, like, us spiritualists, anytime we go to. Like, the cemetery, anytime we go to somewhere where the energy is heavy, we walk out the door See, backwards. I love cemeteries. Yes, I love cemeteries too. Yeah. Um, She was getting on your tattoo. You've seen his tattoos, right? Uh -huh. So for those who have not seen your tattoos. Should I? Is Shai yes. Troll here? Because she she enjoyed it yes. quite a bit. Yes. George, you want to, you don't have any tattoos. You want to join me though, just for Shai Troll's sake? No, let me get tatted up first, dude. Oh my God. Well, yeah. hey, hey, after yesterday, Shai Troll's <laughs> going to have some nice videos tomorrow if we decide to share them of you and I. <laughs> Didn't I say a hundred dollars to take off my clothes? Yes, live? you did. You did. I watched sure. But yesterday. the video Just though, we did a cold plunge yesterday for content. Ooh, oh, how was it? Cold, uh, it was freezing. Yeah. Here's the thing: I didn't have the intention of doing it. Originally it was supposed to be just John, and what ended up happening is then George did it, and George was like, "Austin, you got to do it." So I had to. How'd you feel? Actually, I was like, I can close every deal right now. Yeah, <laughs> my body it's was the like, energy. It's like your yeah. adrenaline is yeah, you're yeah. refreshed. Yeah, so yeah. all right, I guess I'll strip for the yeah. strip down, people. strip down. Now, what? Okay, so in Christianity, what does skulls mean? Like, what do you A look skull? at skull? Yes. So that's interesting that you say that because as I've grown, so I I used to well, I used to love skulls. Like mm -hmm. I used to love Alexander McQueen. Yes. Like all yeah, that. Yeah. Like I always loved skulls. I thought they were just interesting and growing up in southern california you always had the dia de los muertos which yes, is yeah. which was just part of the san diego culture right um but i started getting a little weary of them yeah. i th that just the intention of them like what's the intention of the school even though mm -hmm. i have sweaters that have schools and things like that so yeah. i as as a christian you're supposed to be like mm, mm, right, right? I think it's the intention behind the skull is, yes. is what we're trying to do. Right. Yeah. Um, your tat. I was like, before I knew yeah. you guys are friends, I said, oh, this lady's not coming back. Like, look at his tattoos. Yeah. He got the Grim Reaper on <laughs> the Grim Reaper on one on her. This is shit for George so he could see it. Yeah. And then a skull on the other. And I found it interesting that you put it underneath Christian's birthday. And yeah. Because in voodoo, which I plan on being initiated, which, by the way, this day. is not the reason why I did it whatsoever. Right? No, but I'm no. Curious but to I hear. found out I found that very interesting. Right. Um, skulls, candles, uh, smoke, different things. Whoever did that tattoo definitely knew what they were doing. Oh yeah, she's so, okay. Here's the funny thing: she calls herself the Brujera tattooer. Ah. It's Franny's sister. 
She's a tattooer? Yeah. That's who all for any tattoos, all my tattoos are her. Yes. I've known her since kindergarten. But, She's, yeah. but she does uh, so, Reiki sessions. Ah, so she understands. She's very spiritual. She yes. has crystals and everything. You, right. She, because I need you, to have you guys meet. For sure. Because his tattoo, you have the skull, which in African traditional religions represent the ancestors. Okay. Okay. It's not necessarily anything scary. And then around his, um, his skull, he has a crown, meaning like being at the highest level of enlightenment. That's the ancestral realm. That's Ashe. Ashe, right. That's like <laughs> okay. I'm in. I'm in, learning. I'm learning. Okay. Amen, okay. And, you know, you got the candles and the smoke and all the other stuff. We don't look at skulls like a, a scary thing. Mm -hmm. You know, we invite death because we know there's more to it, which I found interesting because you were like, there's no, I don't believe in evolution. I don't believe in that shit. I, I, I do not. Um, and I was just like, you know, there's so much that we kind of we're alike but we're so different okay yeah. yeah i believe in reincarnation yes yeah me too i'm sorry <laughs> on my chat uh asia says austin striptease peak podcasting <laughs> shy Trail said i love it here and she said george just a hundred dollars you know it's tax season oh <laughs> she said i'll spin a bag i think you have an only fans coming uh, oh, we, we've been I've talking been about to it. manage them for two, for three weeks now i don't know what's, what's taking so long not a single offer has hit my inbox so. <laughs> Oh, do we need to do we need to send pitches on what we will offer you as a manager? Tees. Can we right. get back to God, please? Right. <laughs> now that's talking about religion and strip teasers. Oh, so yes. bad. So voodoo, you brought that up. <laughs> I had a voodoo me. doll when I was growing up. Yes, and it's just it sucks because voodoo back in, around the time that we were stolen and in the early 1900s, it got this a smear campaign. Do you know why? Satanic panic. Yes, well, satanic panic. But it's because we was whooping our masses' asses with voodoo <laughs> rituals, voodoo spell. Like, we were spiritualists. We were making people sick, you know? Um, and for good reason, obviously. But right. that also is synchronized with Catholicism. This is not, like, just cut and dry, you know? Mm -hmm. um, but there was this really bad smear campaign where it was like, you know, voodoo is just this bad thing all of it is about nature um kind of like the cycle of life except we have spirits and deities just like christianity does you know so it's like it gets such a bad rap for nothing i promise i thought i read somewhere that spiritualists like they were the ones who taught like the salem people yes how to how yes. to do spell work and then they really yeah. like lit a fire underneath the hall yes salem witch trial thing so yes so See, i have a i have a different understanding of that whole yeah. thing no so black witches it whenever the salem witch trials were going on they were helping them it was only two black witches that were um found out to be a witch right and all of everybody got Hung and burned at the stake, except for them. Because they're, I don't know how, but the, oh, there was two of them, and I have to find their names. If you guys yeah, know, the two put it in the girls. chat. It was the two little girls. No, they were, they, they were women. Oh, because from the research I have done, it, it started with one little girl making mm -hmm. false accusations uh -huh. about somebody, and then it just became a... a oh, I'm a, talking about the black witches. Oh, yeah, uh, no, I'm talking about like the actual yes. Salem witch trials. Yes. It became it, a lot of he said, she said yes. stuff. And, and it was just, my understanding there was something to do with moldy bread. No, mm -hmm. so that was that was turned out to be not true because they, no. they were like, oh, someone, ergot poisoning. Yeah, but it, ergot got poisoning, sick or but something. It, yeah, but ergot poisoning doesn't cause what mm -hmm. that was. In the, Hallucinations. Uh, yeah, or... and they actually found that there wasn't any trace of it there during that time. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of it was just like mass hysteria or like group sure. psychosis kind of thing where like they just all kind of got into this bubble, mm -hmm. this thought bubble, and they were like, oh, we're all witches. We, we can't trust anybody. Yeah. Like. Yeah. Burn her, burn her, kill them, kill that one. Yeah, except th some of them were doing what is considered witchcraft on the mm. Western, right. in the Western hemisphere, um, putting intentions into things. And I know for a fact the two African American women, they, they were witches. But. Oh, because there was one. There mm -hmm. was one who was, I think, like, I, I don't want to sound insensitive, but like, I think it was like a house slave yes, or something like yes, that. Yeah. And yes. they. They like poor poor lady like stood no chance because they were yeah. like she's definitely a witch because we saw yeah. her practicing and yeah. then they just like instantly were like and then they arrested her and ahead. did not like 
um, lynch her or anything. They just it was so crazy yeah. that story, which I think I'm gonna cover on my YouTube page. You should. But it's a good. It's like spiritualism has gotten such a bad rap, and it comes from back then. Like it is all of this. It's crazy. Um, I wrote some questions for you. Okay. And I'm sure you have questions for me. Yeah. So I go. feel like if you want to, do you want to ask your no, questions you first? No, you go, you go. Okay, let me unlock it because I was supposed to print them being a professional and... It's spring break. We do what it's we can. Spring break. Okay, we do what we can. It's a busy week for us here at the Bizarre Junkies Black yes. Cauldron Studios. We have a lot yes. of stuff going on this weekend. So Very we've big. Been, we, we've been trying to... When I tell you our whole living room... Like, we had about 15 boxes in our living room. Mm -hmm. yeah. You guys just moved. Yeah. Well, we, we just moved, and then we refurnished our whole uh, house. Yeah. So oh. when we moved uh. into our new place, since it was a brand new place, yeah. I mean, like, the walls, everything brand new. Yeah. And so we were like, you know what? We're going to leave the negative energy behind, and we're just going to fully furnish Yeah, because nobody's ever lived in it. Our but place I, from we're scratch. We're the first tenant, so I was just like... Ashe. Ashe. Yeah. Ashe. Yes. So we decided to buy... Brand new furniture. Know, but, but we did it... We did it Modestly. The cost economic way, yeah. yeah. You know, we Amazon that stuff yeah, out. Yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. You know, so we yes. had, we got a to whole hell couch. Giving chairs. the man all your money. Yeah, yeah. And you know what? I, I could put I, it together myself. What yeah. do I need to pay a furniture? I got store Bob the Builder it? right there. Right. 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 Hey, hey. Listen, I furnished my whole yep. house for like thirty five hundred. Maybe your entire house. So every like kids' I'm, bedrooms and I'm talking about bunk beds, mm -hmm. mattresses came in boxes. <laughs> I'm yeah. talking about yep. dining room table. You've been busy. Yeah. Whole, oh, very busy. So whenever I say like, <laughs> yeah, you're going through it. I'm going for, and I'm still getting over that nasty. Yep, the spiritual cold you had. So Ooh. while you're pulling up your questions, I want to let everybody know we are going to start go ahead and opening up questions from the audience. Um, it's caught on the back of my neck. Oh, okay. <laughs> you're looking at me like we doing what? And I was like, <laughs> no, we talked about this. Uh, so for five dollars, you can super chat your question because I know there's going to be a lot of you, and we're we don't have as much time as. Probably everybody would like to ask 8 million questions to our amazing minister over here. Yes. <laughs> By yes. the way, is, I don't know if you mentioned, but is ordained. Yes. We're, there not, we just, go. we're not just stolen she valor up in was, here. And, she legit. Okay. Yeah. Um, There's a question for Noah as well. And li yeah. people, I know everybody doesn't, everybody doesn't listen. Please, yo. If you're going to super chat, mm -hmm. please include your question in, in the, the super yeah, chat. In the super yes, chat. Please. Don't edit after because it's going to be hard. If a lot of questions come through, it's going to be hard to filter them. George already has enough on his plate <laughs> then to go please, and search for your question. Mm -hmm. Please super chat the $5 and your question simultaneously. Please. Thank please. you very much. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So my first question for you, Alexandra, is how do you recon reconcile your belief in the paranormal and pagan practices with your role as a minister a in a question. traditional religions institution that may not condone or support those beliefs? That is a really good question because it's something I struggle with as well. Yeah. The way that I look at, look at it as there's good intentions and ill intentions, right? Yes. Because I have to say, when I was going through theology, I would read, um, for example, the uh, Paul. Mm -hmm. And I'd read stories from Paul. And he took away prostitution. Mm -hmm. So he, he went in and he's like, all right, guys, everybody, we're Christian. We're no longer Jews. We're going to go in and we're going to get rid of this and get rid of that. And right. prostitution was one of them. And, and we're going to create rules around Christianity. And when I would be reading that, I, would, I was like, gosh, I don't know if I agree with that. Yeah. I don't know if I agree. Like one and one of the things was um, circumcision, and and, yes. and in order to be a Christian, you have to become a Jew, and even your servants have to become Christian. And even if so, if you so like if if your your household becomes Christian, you had to be circumcised. Even the people working for you had to be circumcised. Like this right. this whole thing, right? I remember looking at this like this doesn't just sound right. Like can you imagine right. work, like yeah, yeah. and. <sighs> I think a lot with religion, and I think everything that you've talked about, and everything I've talked, we have to look at where it was in time. Yes. Right. Who was king? Who we could we can talk about? You know, we could talk about the Jews and the Pharaoh. We could like uh, who was king? What were the rules? And what was going on during that time? That's one thing. Mm -hmm. Secondly, look at where we are. Just look at the news today. There's one side and the other side. Then there's thirty other sides. Right. We hear one side of the story that we want to hear. Mm -hmm. then there's the other side that you're like, I can't understand how you feel that way. Right, right. 
So I think that potentially with religion, there's been a lot that is left out. Mm. Yes. That makes sense. Mm. Right? That makes sense. And I understand the idea. So so being a Christian, I understand the idea of don't worship other idols. Like I can understand that, you know, like right, right. don't don't that don't put that above me or, or don't don't put your um basically put your, all your you know, put put all your focus here and I I can understand that. Um, don't don't think that you know this this water here is going to save you, right? Right. Or, or, right. right. What about the one you blessed behind you? Right. That one. <laughs> that one. First the- shizzle. <laughs> <laughs> <Super. laughs> right. Um. I think that there's a lot. So, like, you've educated me tremendously today, right? Mm-hmm. I want to learn it. I want to understand it. I want to look it. I've I've read parts of the Quran. I've mm-hmm. gone to temple with the Jews. I've wanted to understand it. And I think that what we can do is say, okay, I'm not like, eh, can't learn this, can't learn, nope, that's wrong, That's this is right. And I think that's what happens a lot with religion, especially the traditional, when you think of the church ladies. Right, yes. <laughs> we hey, all know the church ladies. Their way ladies. is the only way. Yeah. yeah. Their way is the only way. My grandmother has a conversation with yes. me for 20 minutes about abortion. And I'm like, grandma, I'm, I was just calling to see how your day was going. <laughs> I yeah. love you. So, so, so back to your initial question: How do I reconcile just the spiritual side? I think that I, I, I believe that we can talk to our ancestors. I believe that we can talk to spirits. I believe we can. Um, I believe in the quantum realm. I believe that mm-hmm. there is no time. We're just living in a time warp right now. We're here, right, in this magical right. spot, um, and that's not taught in the Bible. No, at all, at all, at all. That's why I was like, at wait, all? she was, you was, you was talking about some stuff, and I, I was like, I clutched my invisible Christian pearls, like, oh my gosh, <laughs> she's she shaking that. the table. <laughs> <laughs> I think that there, like, for example, uh, something that I, I don't know. I mean, no one told me. I believe Jesus was married. I believe mm. Jesus had children. The reason why I believe that is of that time. Again, it's all about looking at the times of that time, every Jewish man was to be married. Mm -hmm. And obviously if you're married, you're going to have children like that, especially in those days that there was no birth control. Right. I think that, I think Mary Magdalene was his wife. I think it was left out. I think it was left out of the stories. Okay. So my point and what I'm saying is, and like you said, with, with different religions that are 8,000 years old, that are, that are older than, than Christianity, obviously Judaism is older than Christianity. Mm -hmm. I think that there's, I don't want to use the word evolution because we just said we right, don't believe we just in said, that. But evolution from but they should evolve. Things yes. have evolved and right. things things change. And I and, wish and the we, religions did it as well, right? Because then it would be beneficial for all religions. Where if the if religion moved with the times, mm-hmm. you know, then I think it would be more beneficial for all parties involved. Like you know, and for like. Fortunately, we've evolved. You know, there there's a such thing as, uh, as same sex marriage and, and things like that, but it was mm-hmm. always something that's been frowned upon within the church. Mm-hmm. You know, and it's like times have changed. Well, something I want to ostracize on that is I don't speak Aramaic. I don't think anyone in this room speaks Aramaic. I don't speak Hebrew. I don't think anyone in this room speaks Hebrew. Mm-hmm. I don't speak Greek. Right? I can't translate the original transcripts. So maybe what has been translated isn't accurate. Mm. And I would argue that there are things that, yeah. like I could say, what I could, for example, I could say, oh, that's a red light. And you're like, that's not red, that's purple, right? <laughs> right, like, right. Like even in this room where we have a different yeah. view of what's right. in this room, right? Right. right? So potentially, and I don't know, and it wasn't important enough for me to go learn Aramaic, right? right? To like be able to translate the Bible and say, no, this Guys, this is what it exactly really what it said. Right. So I think that's also important to remember is we're getting a religion, like what we hear today in church has been translated and really translated and really, yes. it's like the There's game of potato, many. hot yes. potato. Yes. Yeah, How telephone. many or telephone, <laughs> right. yeah. Right. How many ways has it been rewritten? And there's, you know, there's King James, there's English Standard. Right. There's so that's the other thing. So what's I, been yeah, left out? I read the Sefer. You've heard of the Sefer before? No, what's that? It's like what we consider the original Bible is a lot of it's in Hebrew, like okay. Hebrew words. So like, um, oh, I wish I, I should have brought it. I should have brought it because 
like on the front, it'll have the English version of Psalms, but then mm-hmm. um, the back flap where, you know, what are those called? Like the, the dividers where you can go through each chapter. Mm-hmm. All of like it's the in cliff he- notes. The cliff notes or like whatever is in Hebrew. So right. like whenever I pray to the most high, we do, I say it in Hebrew, like mm-hmm. Shema Israel, Yahweh Elohenu, Yahweh mm-hmm. Echad. That's, it's so many different ways, like I said, to skin a cat. And just like um, Christianity has evolved, um, or not even evolved, but we have different versions. Even what I do, depending on where you are from, is what story, what paraki you get for some of the things that we practice in African spirituality. Um, so I just felt like that was super interesting. And I feel like whenever we go back and we look at these texts, they like you said, they've been rewritten so many times because we have a group of people that went into Africa, right? And mm-hmm. then they basically gave us a Bible and was like, you can't do what you do normally anymore. So as I a way like, for control. Uh, as a way and that's what I was gonna mm-hmm. ask. Do you believe Christianity and or Abrahamic religions were ever used to monopolize, enslave, demarginalize, or otherwise diminish people's cultural beliefs? Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. Again, we go back to what was the intention of it, right? And you can look at that. Um, I'm I'm being from California, I'm more familiar with the missions. Mm-hmm. Um and so you had the missionaries that went in to, to the Mexican cultures and cause, yeah. you know and say, okay, we're gonna teach you Christianity, we're gonna teach you the ways to live right. and all those. Um, now, in some, I'm sure that there was good that came out of that. And I'm sure that there's things that came out of it as <coughs> you're, you're asking me to take away who yeah. I am as a person, yes. right? Um, so yeah, I, I think, I think you know, government has control. Right. I, think, I think everything is used Stop for power. Stop taxing me. Right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I, you know, you look at the, I, I'm not Catholic, and I look at the Catholicism, and I think a lot of it is control. Yes. I mean, yeah. uh, you have to do this, and you have to do that, and you right. have to stand this way and sit this way, and now it's time to sit and bow and kneel, and you can't eat before communion, and all these, right. all these things. That's, that's uh, we taking... have Yeah, we have a we few have two, super chats. We have two. Well, we had someone... So who, well, they, they wanted to get their, their question across so bad that they super chatted two questions, <laughs> double the fee. Right. <laughs> they, did, they did pay Thank twice. You. But uh, first, Asia on my stream, super chatted $5 and said, just supporting. Okay. okay. Thank you, Asia. Then we have, on your stream, we have Mel. She super chatted. Hey, but Mel. I'm not going to read the super chat. But she's she's showing she's support. One, yeah, she's, she's showing support. Yes, um, she actually has a question. She's one of my patrons. Oh, okay. Shout so out she, to Patreon. So she has, she has a question already. Yes. She's like, when you go well, ask it. Well, let me see because here she goes. Okay, she said, I'll read it because Loki, I feel her. She says you're a Christian witch. <laughs> <laughs> she says she's literally a Christian witch and don't know it. Don't okay. worry, we'll wait on you. We'll okay. wait for it. Because some of the things we we do the same, um, which is crazy because I feel like at some point all Christians that have fully moved over to spirituality were Christian witches. Hell, I could be considered a Christian witch at some point. Hoodoo, hoodies, whatever you want to call it. Still reading out the Bible. So I mean at the end of the day, it's like you know, the Seifer is the Bible. It just has all the missing books, like right. from the beginning. Um, so it, it's my ancestors. They practiced. They were Christians. They were hoodoo. They practiced voodoo. They practiced all of these things. Um, the At only the end of thing. The day, they all believe in the most high. Yeah. We all believe in the same being. And that and that's an argument I've had with some some very, like we can use the church ladies. Right. We'll use right. that in quote. Like we all know that right. the church lady, right? Um is how do we know that either people are just on different areas of their journey, right? Right. Like look at a baby, a baby has to, you know, crawl and then walk and they're on different right. journeys, right? Or how do you know that we're not talking about the same thing? Because mm-hmm. if you read the Quran, the commandments are very, sim- you know, the Ten Commandments are very similar to what is in the Quran. Or yes. if you look at if you look at Hindu, it's very similar, and right. and it, they're all very similar, right? Or if you mm-hmm. look at um, the uh, forty-two laws of Mayat, that was one of the questions that because yeah, it's very similar to the Ten mm-hmm. Commandments. Yes, uh, one of my patrons, I believe it was Knox. I, I'm not sure. She wanted me to ask you, like, 
why does the Ten Commandments um, feel like a watered down version of the 42 laws of my eye or even like different, like you were just mm -hmm. naming different things. And it's so, it's like, it's so similar that it's, it's almost weird to call one bad over the other. Oh, you know? yeah. I don't by yeah, any no. means say that. But some, so, so on that, something that came to me. So in my, my class and one of my cohorts, we had to talk about um, one of the, uh, the, the question was, how do you connect with God when you're not connected with God? Mm -hmm. And so I, I, we had to respond to this. And mm -hmm. so my thing was, you know, um, prayer or read the Bible or move your body. And my answer yes. was move your body. Yes. Well, I had I had all the church ladies, right? The seventy year old, <clears throat> eighty year old church ladies. Oh tell goodness. Me, uh huh. What do you mean by that? And I was like, whatever you mean. Put on music and dance. Go for right. a run. Right. Go outside. Look at the sun. Because like, you see, you see it as like a, a relationship. With, with God, God. not right. just a, I go to church because I have to to be. Or good. I'm going to heaven because I went to church. Or right. I'm going to right. heaven because I'm baptized. Right. But what got but on this, which was fascinating, like I was, I was like, dude, you got to chill. Was I hope it's not yoga? Was <laughs> oh the response. my god! I just heard that that's the new thing that yoga is um, sacrilegious and mm -hmm. demonic. Wouldn't it be and funny so if I that's asked like that the best question. way to get connected to, like unironically, like it's just like the most. No, no, no. But it is way. because it's balancing chakras. It's, right. It's getting. Your body we're we're the same. Whenever we want to connect with spirit, uh, whether that be ancestors or the most high, mm -hmm. um, we dance. We do things like that. You have to move your body. You have to raise yeah. your vibration. Right. You know, so yoga. Yeah, well, And so I, I, I was like, well, what do you mean? Well, each movement is a prayer to a certain God. Wait a minute. In, in the, in the, uh -huh, in the uh, Sanskrit. No, well, if you, I mean, I'm not a yoga, I'm not like a. Yogi, oh, but each okay. each move has a name, right? And each each move yes. is like we're doing, you know, you know, we're we're sun god, or we're gonna do this pose, or like apparently each move is to some well, sort of god. Which one is downward? Is a downward, downward dog? dog? That's my yeah. favorite. But yeah. how is how is downward <laughs> you know, dog praying to a god? I mean, that, I one, that one's for me. What, I mean, one's for me. It, it, what god is that? Right, Shavasana, I believe. The Shavasana. George oh, does it's, yoga. It's, George, George, are you Wait, not telling us well, something? It's really a god. Uh, I don't know if it's god. Yeah, I don't know it that deep, guys. Oh, uh, okay. Because I was about to YouTube say, I guess downward dog is worshiping Paw Patrol <laughs> because at this point <laughs> we can't. This is ridiculous. But and it, it, it also just takes proves... you. It also takes you to uh, to the point where it's it's what, what's taught to you, right? Yeah. Like for instance, everybody's taught that six 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 is is the code of the devil. Right. When, do, wait, do you believe that? Have you ever heard it? You've heard that, obviously. I've heard that. And when I sold real estate, we had a house that was like 666 and it didn't sell. And I didn't know why. And people would like go to buy it and they wouldn't, I'll buy, it. They it's wouldn't because, buy it. It's and because I didn't the, number, yeah. the number is associated the with the devil, devil when in all yeah. actuality, 666 Not. is the amount of protons, neutrons, and electrons that make up the melan melanation of a black person's mm -hmm. skin. Wow. And that's where what? that came no, from. No, I'm looking that up right now. No, I'm not where? doubting you. I'm just saying that's a no, cool No, that's fact. where Listen. 666 came from. So when, 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 when you were taught that 666 was the code of the devil, you're also being taught to dislike African Americans. Well, this is what I was going to, and, and what I was saying is, we don't know what the original, right, right, right. right. we don't know what what it was intent. I mean, I, I don't, I don't speak right, right. Aramaic, so I don't. You right. don't know what's actually in there. However, right. it's we we can only it's like for instance, your mom always tells you tells you as a young young girl when you go out you want to get a husband that's going to take care of you and this that and the third and when you finally meet that guy and he doesn't do the things that your mom told you that you're supposed to believe then you think oh that's not the guy for me because my mom told me right. that he's not the guy for me but in all actuality, what if your mom was just taught the wrong way? That I, I agree with everything, yeah. and that's and that's a lot of of you know for there's a lot of of parts of of our history where we weren't literate, yeah, right, yeah. Yes. different different parts we weren't literate, we weren't taught these things, and so it's just this is what you have to do, and this is what you're taught, and this is what you hear, opposed to again I think and I said ask yeah. the questions, yeah. Yeah. learn, yeah, right, right, and so I'm I'm like stoked right yeah. now, yeah. So we we do have 
some questions. We I have one and you have one. So let's get to yours first because she super chatted. Okay, uh, Yasmin super chatted ten dollars. And asked okay, hey questions. Yasmin, and we had someone that joined the yes, page. Yes, you have a member. Thank you, babe. Would you like me to read Yasmin's question? Because um, I have it right here in front of me. I have okay. it as well. Yes. Yeah, you can. Okay. Mr. Fresh. Up, yeah. Mr. Fresh so is first, about that life. The first part of Yasmin's question, uh, and again, Ms. Gomez, we appreciate you. Uh, was how can we make spirituality in Christ? would be able to meet in the middle. Like how can we come together at a happy common meeting? ground? In, in my opinion, was that directed towards me? Uh, I'm assuming so. so. I think it's okay. just to the it's room. It's just to the room, yeah. In my opinion, there's a lot again, there's a lot we don't know and there's this huge divide in in Satan and Christ, right? Yeah. And and I think it's bringing awareness to what what is Satan or what what is that or what does that mean? Mm-hmm. And what what is the Christianity? So I think the whole spiritual spirituality side is what you're talking. What we're talking about here is again bringing light to it and yeah. education to it and showcasing it. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And and it's so crazy. Like um, in my pantheon, we don't believe in hell. Mm. You know, there. I believe personally, Satan does exist, but we don't we don't give him as much attention as like say Christianity or. Catholics or whatever, um, it's it's just to me to give a deity because that's what he is at this point. He is real. To give a deity that much um, hype to us as people that are initiated into African traditional religions is crazy to us. You know, we we're such light workers that we don't want to even we don't subscribe to Satan. You know, it, hell is not a place. This is hell. Seriously, this is hell. What we do on earth? Definitely living in a hell state. Yes, um, taxes, bills. I mean, come spring on. Spring break only being a week. Uh, that's uh, actually that, you're right. That is the definition it of a hell be three state. Three days. Spring break should be the weekend, yes. and let's go back on Monday. <laughs> <I> swear, <laughs> come get your children. <laughs> right, my spring break's in two weeks. Yes. Oh my so god, it's a spring break. Uh, I haven't had one uh, since high school. No, for real. But now my kids are at home, so. CCSD pick y'all kids up. Spring, um, I can tell you what spring break is. Spring break is when we have four children mm-hmm. and we spend four hundred dollars on groceries oh in seven days versus a hundred dollars in groceries a week. Right, they're just going through because they, what else are they going to do? Yeah, because they're home and they're just eating. Are they I watching could, right now? I could probably pull probably. up footage right now on my security cameras and, and somebody's in the kitchen. And somebody's in the kitchen. I yep. promise you, mm-hmm. somebody's in the kitchen right at this moment. Yes. Yes, I bet it. And somebody's um, sitting at the table eating. Mm-hmm. And somebody's probably watching the stream while eating. Yes. Yeah, yes. Definitely. It's Max. It's I can Max. guarantee it's Max. Um, but uh, yeah, it's just, it comes down to a point where we don't believe in that, you know? And it's like, we get it left and right. And I'm like, can we just all get along? I use the the seeper, which to me is the Bible. It's just an original form. Or... Um, I still believe in certain things because there's, I have to honor my ancestors who were Christian, devout, some of them devout Christians, some of them practice hoodoo, um, some of them practice ifa, some of them were into voodoo, whatever the case is, but this is hell. Trust me, this is hell. What's on the other side? I'm like, I'm excited. I'm like, of course, you don't never want to die. You don't want to wish that on yourself prematurely. But I used to be afraid of death, and I'm not anymore. You shouldn't be. You should not be afraid to die. We got a really quick second part of that question. Well, he thinks it's you're you're done. Yeah. That's why I told him his ancestors were going to whoop his ass. We're going to need Austin (laughs) to start believing in something. Hey, hey, we found out Friday that I fucked around and I found out. Yeah. Listen. Uh, Same day shipping. Yeah. Instant, like, instant Instant. Instacart delivered it. Oh, so the Friday night stream, I, and I'm not, I, 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 at least I don't feel like I try to, intent because I try to be respectful. No, of like, he's just, I said, he, he played too much. And I said, I don't remember what you said in specific. I said, you just need to fuck around and find out, you know, these low vibrational energy spirits, they are very much so real. And he's like, I've never experienced one. And it's so crazy because he's that the night, paranormal guy. that night. I went to sleep and I had an entity with very vivid eyes follow me through two dreams. Yes. Like got I had one dream. I woke up, mm-hmm. went to the bathroom, went back to sleep, different dream, same entity. And I was like, it was you gotta like, be kidding me. Hey, Ooh. Mr. Bizarre Junkie Man. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Bizarre Junkie Man. 
here's the thing though is like i believe in that stuff after that last paranormal investigation in october because of the stuff that i encountered yeah like, like i'm definitely and that's but why i had spirits. you on like, those are ghosts they walk this earth low vibrational d words and that i yep. like to i don't even like to say the d word because those are real um but well do you know what the d word is Demon? Yes. Okay. Ah, so, she said it. I'm it's like George. Time. George, emergency sage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but like, they're real. And I was telling him there are low energies. They don't scare me, but they, you know, it could be scary to someone. Oh um, my! See, Franny's trying. He's like, that's what you get for wishing that shit. I never wish that shit on you, Franny. <laughs> Franny, right. hey, you're gonna experience it with us. On, he's gonna be there on Saturday. Okay, good. You're gonna find out with us. Okay. Um. Yeah, so I was like, you just need to see one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes, you just and need I did. to and see. I, and same did. day shipping, instant yes. delivery. Yes, Instacart we, we was like, we, we better than Amazon over here, baby. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> I, uh, I have been a little bit more aware of the stuff that I see. The only people that are afraid to die are the people that do not believe in anything which after is, this. Which is mm-hmm. me. Yeah, what you're saying. Yeah. Because yeah. I feel like it's like when you go to sleep, it's it's just out. It's just mm-hmm. out. Mm-mm. Mm-hmm. In my beliefs, right. whenever you pass, you meet your ancestors. Your ancestors give you ancestors, and God give you permission to pass. So, and you're saying at this point, you knock on wood. They right. beat my ass if I were to. Oh go. my gosh! Yes, they'd be like, "How dare you not believe in God?" So I'm gonna get high. jumped at this moment in time. I'm getting jumped. You're gonna get jumped. They're just gonna give you a slap up, you know, in the back of the head. But <laughs> we believe that we were put here. We were sent down. And we meet our ancestors, our spirit family, whatever the case is, our spirit guides. Right. They give us permission to pass. Because if you notice people that have had near death experiences, they meet their people and they're like, it's not time. We you got to go back. About this. Yeah. So we believe in that. And we also believe that if you don't do good and be good, or if you did not get the assignment right, <laughs> the assignment. they're saying your ass back. This homework? Yeah. Right. You know, you're going to go back. So it's... Okay. You better hope you go back as the same person, because you may go back as a woman this time. Yeah. I believe I was a hard dude in another life. That's why you throw hands with... Yeah. She still, she still with, acts like one. With low she vibrations. Like and... No, no, no. <laughs> We've had conversations on the show where you you guys are like, hey, sometimes she wants to square up. She's, square, a, man, she's a man and a woman. The duality of it all. <laughs> The duality of I'll whoop your ass. Yes, I'll be like, I give him that Ike Turner look. You know, <laughs> you know how Ike Turner is. That okay. But, uh, so I know we have oh, a second part yeah, of that question. Part of yes, we have two more questions say, yes. now. I yeah, because sure somebody to. somebody super chatted again. But uh, the second part of this stream. question, which really is, is is short, however, I love the question. Um, basically, she's saying, how can we change the way and tone of all conversations between? Uh, spirituality can I, and Christianity. Can I, can I kind of answer this one? Because I feel like I'm the middle ground here between yeah. the two. It's just being like, and I have it here on the show, it's just being open. Mm-hmm. Don't be so like quick to be like, no, nope, you're wrong. That's my beliefs. I feel like that's something that's coming though. It's yeah. coming within, yeah. I would say it's coming within the next 20 years. Yeah, I would because say. Because now, now the church ladies. Well, the boomers are leaving. Let's, let's use the air quotes. I'm on. sorry. Yeah. Some the of t- the church old ladies are, are on their way to the upper room. Yeah, the upper room. And once they go to the upper room, I feel then like, we'll have more like-minded yeah. people. I would say my generation, which is George and myself, are yeah. much more open than yes, older Yes, I feel like middle, millennials, we're, we're getting there. I feel yeah. like millennials are very open as well. I don't know if you're... I'm 32, so I'm like... I don't know what I am. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I mean, like I have no idea. I don't know what generation I am. Yeah, but I, I don't feel either. like... Probably X. Maybe. You're a millennial. I don't Anybody think I'm a, in their I don't 30s think I'm a is... Yes. I don't think so. It's your old ass. Okay. I'm t- technically, George and I are Elder Z. Yeah. Generation Elder Z. Z. Yeah. Which I don't even know what my kid is. What is, what are, what is our kid? Alpha. I have no alpha? idea. They're alpha? Yeah. Okay. That's Bats. why I was telling the little G's and Gen Z bastards that was talking about all us millennials. Okay. They coming. The alphas is coming. The alpha, they, they are coming. <laughs> My kid lets me know. Add on to that question? Um, yeah, I would just say have an open mind and yeah. just be like Alexandra's perfect example. Yes. Because, I can honestly say. Because you're not the church lady coming in here no. being like, let she's, me tell you something about you that you don't know. All yes, right? yeah. She's willing. She's open. Yes. I wish all ministers were like that because a lot of the time, Christians, they convert to spirituality because they don't feel like they can be open about what they believe. Everything's demonic. You know, how are you going to tell me 
that altars to my ancestors. I'm speaking to demons, but then whenever that said person passes away, the first thing we do is have a funeral and it's right, an altar. It's the same thing. With flowers and, oh, I know he looking down on me. What? That is hypocrisy at the, the finest level, the, the very, very minimal level. Um, so not to put you with the body on display, but don't put a picture on display. Right, right, right. right. Fran, you said uh, we have iPad babies. That's, what we, oh, that's the generation. Yes, iPad, iPad babies. babies. <laughs> I know my son is there, but... He's definitely an iPad baby. I'm mm-hmm. four. Yeah. My, my, my kid is an iPad baby. We try to limit it. We try to be like, all right. Yeah. Right. Uh-huh. Yeah, for sure. He doesn't let his stay charged long enough to be addic- addicted for real, for real. Oh, yeah. You just... He lets it get to 2%, takes it off. I'm like, it's done. Yeah. Oh yeah, we do that too. We'll be like, here you go, buddy. You got thirteen percent. Right. The day. Yeah. Have fun with yeah. that. And yep. then I mean you'll but you'll find my son's iPad like on the kitchen floor. You'll yeah. find it like on Everywhere. the side of the toilet. I'm like, Yeah. Why yeah. is <sighs> Yeah, we're doing better. We just went out to dinner for her birthday, for uh girlfriend's birthday over the weekend and we don't bring Yeah, we'll let we him don't bring a toy. Yeah. 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 Bring King Kong. Okay. Bring King Kong toy with you. Right. He can have a meal too. Sure, share your food with them, but right. we're, not, we're not bringing. We're that. not but bringing that. No doubt, I'm against the though, because you're eating King Kong. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> no, <I'm not laughs> no, like I'm ordering you chicken tenders from Chili's. King Kong can share. Right. Yeah. Okay. okay. Unless they got the two for five or whatever, then maybe. All right. Because so, then, because then, Dad gets. The see, you going, you going, you going to mess around and find out. Mm, with oh what? gosh! With the, don't with them, with them French fries, man. Listen, 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 listen. When your son start feeding his dolls, food. Mm-hmm. And you find that fourteen day old soggy ass chicken nuggets oh, yeah. lodged no, no, no. in his throat somewhere. <laughs> yes. Oh yeah. No. And, and you wonder are... what that smell is in the back seat of your car? It's <laughs> yeah. that chicken nugget that. Uh, yeah. No. We <laughs> we are on top... fourteen days. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, yeah. We we uh we're on top of that. But uh, okay. I mean, anybody else with that question? I, yeah. Just being open and just respecting um each other's opinion. I do. I feel like that's ever going to happen. No. Christian supremacy is very rampant. Spiritual supremacy is now, I feel like it's coming down to spiritualists feel so attacked that sometimes they become what we don't like either. We don't We're like anybody. Yes. You know, feeling like their stuff is the only right way or whatever the case is. And that's why I said, like, I don't mess with Christian or spiritual supremacy. No, right. no God is over the other. Especially whenever... It's like I think about how people I can't wait for some of these people that are hateful because it comes down to some Christians are just disgusting, like downright yep. hateful. Some of and these I'm like, ladies. wait till Every, you everybody yes. has a yeah. has someone in their, Every their group has spiritual. A bad bunch. Yes. <laughs> but I'm like, I can't wait for y'all to get to them pearly white gates and see, damn, and have that sudden awareness. Cause whenever you die, you know things that you it's didn't like, know. Yeah. Yes. Like, oh my goodness. I was calling my granny a demon, and your granny's right here looking at you like, uh, "Yeah, you were." Right, you I was, I was hungry. Like, I wanted some. I wanted some water. Yeah, right. But like, <laughs> I, could could they be demon in the terms of like, you, no, you mean. <laughs> like, no, like in the Yo, in the real world, yeah, kind of a you're a menace. Oh well, yes, there are some ancestors that do not make it to the ancestral realm. God kicks them back down immediately, or puts Damn. them in. So black. you get up and you're like, yeah. "Where's so and so?" And they're like, "Long no. story." Like those people that are serial killers, uh, child molesters, things like that, they don't even get an invitation. Yeah, uh, Yolanda Salvador, she's not oh, going yeah. either. Okay, well, she uh, she's out now, right? No, no. Okay, she's they trying. Know, I, they know I'm, nev- I'm nervous for her to get out. Yeah, yeah that's not going to be a fun jail. time when she. You know who we're talking about? Uh-uh. The woman who shot Selena. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. She's like supposed to be getting out any day, like any time well, yeah. now. Well, they uh, said she's up for like parole in 2025 or something like that. Yeah, you think she's gonna survive? No, I don't know. No, no, no. Definitely. no. no well, because we, now you have races teaming up. Yes, and they're like, no, we get. Well, they said heard. the cartel is not gonna let her step Damn. foot. Yeah, they they, Damn. they took that serious. That was personal. Stay in jail. We've heard yeah. that the that the <laughs> Yolanda thing goes a little bit deeper though. Like, there's a whole spiritual background that goes with it. Not even heard. I just said it. it like you, whenever you do what are your evil, you live for far. I'm talking longer. about the story we was watching the other day. About what? Where we was we was finding the backdrop of like, oh yo, that's that was red red. It was <laughs> I was like the backdrop from from back in the day where like not not back in the day but like before Selena was Selena when she was here on, on another life form. And oh my gosh, that yeah, Sloan and, Bella. Oh my yeah, gosh, hey, it that was a beautiful reading that Sloan Bella. If you have not watched her, she's a medium. I stand for her. 
go watch her uh, Selena reading. Um, she talks about her past lives and different things like that. Um, but yeah, Has Selena come back um, several times already. No, no, no. Not she Shakira, hasn't Shakira. came back this time. Oh, not yet. Okay. Yeah, not yet. But or at the time of that recording, not yet. But because Selena was supposed to come and procreate with another man, not not her husband, but not Chris. But she was supposed to have a baby with somebody else, and it was supposed to be like the savior of the Hispanic culture. Yeah, and basically, Bad Bunny. Yeah, no, I don't. I, don't, I, don't, I have no. They idea. said he was going to be like a powerful figure, but he wasn't going to be in music. He was going to be El a Chapo. powerful figure. Yeah, so check out Sloan Bella, y'all. And a lot of people that follow me follow her. She is amazing, um, medium, and yeah, it was clairvoyant. Dope. All right. Well, we um, have a question. So Asia super chatted another $5. Okay. So she's uh, – this is six super chats. So thank you to Asia. Thank for you, Asia. For all your support. So she uh, – and I'm I, this may be directed to you, and I may be reading it wrong, but it says, do you believe in Christ consciousness? I have no idea what Christ. I don't know what she means by that. Yeah, I'm not sure what Christ consciousness is. It, like in the sense of, um, I would ask her to clarify, like having, I don't even know how to describe what I would think that is. Yeah. Um, like awakening. Maybe, or... maybe we should maybe we should ask her to elaborate a little bit. Yeah, let's, yeah. Then let's we'll elaborate. Go through the chat. So she'll um, come she'll back. Come but I mean, you I'm have gonna, one. Yes, I have one. We got April, Mojo. Yeah. Uh, April and Mojo. I April and Mojo. And, well, first off, we want to yeah, say we appreciate that's you. That's a big super chat. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, super chat. There, super it, chat. There's multiple questions in this question. Yes. However, it's like two words and then a question. No, two no, words I, I can read it. But it's, just read the I whole thing and then yes. we'll be able to just answer it. It says, I am, I'm Portuguese. My son, 17, frequently experiences spirits that are from father's side of the deep southern black. They show up in his dreams and while awake to talk and guide him. How should I handle this? Could they be ancestors? Absolutely. If he feels no fear and he's just like, um, you know, comfortable with them those are ancestors i don't know if you're here in the states or if you have any connection with your son's um father are able to get in touch with like the ancestral part but i definitely would recommend it especially since they're visiting him or could yeah. it be past lives like he wronged someone from a past no i don't think so um especially trying whenever, to guide him yes oh guide yeah, yeah. especially since she's saying like the south the South is where hoodoo, voodoo, different things, where ancestry is very, very important. Um, I would definitely try to talk with his father, um, connect him with his father on that level, and just Impossible, kind of, for sure. you know, be understanding. Because he's 17, not 7. He's not making this stuff up you know where yeah. he is it's a little too it's probably i wouldn't say annoying but probably yeah, a little annoying like, to him he's like i don't understand this what is this mean? right it's right. frustrating whenever you don't yeah. understand but i definitely think oh, those so are like, ancestors I, I would say don't don't shy him away from it and also don't uh don't tell him to be afraid yeah like he, encourage him like if you want you can speak back you know right. talk to him you know because they're only gonna they're only if they're trying to guide you and talk to you then give them that conversation because it takes a lot of energy for a spirit to make yeah. contact with you. So if they're yeah, coming to, to you in your dreams and manifesting themselves to you, then uh, you definitely want to embrace that. Yeah. I felt like that's not anything bad. Um, so, yeah, but thank you so much for yes, the super chat. And um, Shy. Shy, Shy came with yeah. one, too. So hey, did girl, hey. Um, man, it says, Minister Alexandra, with all your... All of your studies and knowledge that resonates with you in Christianity. Um, do you believe that you are a Christian? Mm -hmm. I think that's what you meant, right, Shy? I don't know if it was a typo because it says where, where you, believe you believe that you are a Christian. But do you just mean do you believe, Shy? Do I believe I'm a Christian? Or well, yeah. we're, we're asking Shy because I don't. Yes, please, you guys, if you yeah. can. I got and... clarification on the Asia question. Oh, okay. So okay. we can go okay. into that. So she said. It's believed that Jesus was a regular man who was able to enter a state of enlightenment and pretty much guide the rest of us into the state of mind, pretty much trying to see if you guys believe in that. So oh, yes. like astral projecting almost? Yes. Um, Jesus hangs out in the astral realm. I, we never, us spiritualists say, um, we never like debunked some of the things you guys were saying. We just don't believe 
everything, because like you said, it was rewritten so many times. How it happened, happened. But it is said, people like uh, Gandhi, Jesus, uh, they're in a special, very high vibrational um, part of the astro realm. That's what I've been taught. Um, so do you feel like that's, mm -hmm. yeah. So when I was pregnant, I went to see a psychic to find out about my little boy. Yeah. And um, she was telling me, she's like, no, your your little boy is like, oh, poor thing. your little boy is like best friends with Jesus. And I was like, yeah. What? what? Right. Yeah. I'm like, this one? Like, right. like, they, like they dap up like, like in the spiritual realm. They're like, right. hey, my God. Yeah. I, yeah. yeah. They and, and and they're like, no, he, <laughs> he has a lot of work to do with him. He's really working hard. And, 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 and I, I've circled back, you know, yeah. he's four and I'm like. We're still friends with Jesus. And right. They're like, right. yes, he astro projects with him all the time and he's working. And That's when crazy. He, yeah. and when he was young, like one years old, it was about Easter time and a commercial came on for I don't know the movie, but the one of, of the resurrection. <laughs> we all know like the Yeah. You know what I'm talking yeah, about? Yeah, yeah. Yes. That, that shows Jesus carrying the cross. And mm. I forget the movie. Um, oh, I think um, it was I think I don't think it was a movie. I think it was like a series. A series. Yeah, yeah. It was like a three part series. Yeah. And it came across and my son at, at one, he's like like, right, yeah, yeah, that's my yeah, guy. Right, that's like, my dude. Right, like, big, there go big homie like, right yeah. there. Really, right, right. really. <laughs> and I think Shy Trail, she was she like, did. yeah, she she actually meant what I said. What makes you believe that you are a Christian? And I, I'm suspecting because you do believe in so many. I believe in some of the spiritual practices. stuff. Yeah. I know. I, I do have a. a what's the word? Cognate, cognate. What's the word? Cognizant, yeah. dissonance, yeah, yeah. cognitive dissonance. dissonance. I yeah, get those words all jumbled. You and up. I are like the same with like we. Some things make sense, and then some we're like, things, oh, "Well, you're, right. you're a little on your own side." Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, you're the one that doesn't believe. Sorry, in God. science. But we all here believe in God. Yeah. Um. I think I'm more agnostic now. You believe than, there's than, a God. You I think there's there's something it. like there had. There has to be something because of like the stuff that we like. I did like this weekend. How can I say that there's no God or no? No realm, anything. no realm. But yet here I am going. Late, uh, ghost, please speak to me. Right? Like, how right. does that make sense? Necessarily, a god. I feel like it's all. I think it's like maybe like a mesh of some things. Like we yeah. say, like like some things we got right, some things maybe we didn't. Right. So I don't think that there's one omnipotent being that's pulling the strings and being like, yes, right. Gas yeah. prices go up. Yeah, you this know, happened. It, it, it comes down to, there's a lot of different, um, it's just a lot of different things, a lot of different opinions. It's, everything is opinions. Opinions are like asses. And we all know we all got an ass, yep. right? Some of them and, are stinkier. Yeah, some of them are stinkier than others. And I just feel like we have to start respecting each other. You know, mm -hmm. I think that's the biggest conversation that we need to have. Just at a base level. Just be at a good person. base level. Because, see, a Christian be like, I'm going to pray for you. And someone like me, I'm going to cuss you the fuck out. Okay? So I'm just <laughs> right. like, I need everybody to just be on that same level of respect. I don't think, we'll, are we close? No. Absolutely not. Um, we got a lot to do whenever it comes to religion and how we communicate about our our beliefs or whatever the case is. That's why it was so important that I sat down with you today. I'm like, mm -hmm. and she sounds like she's open. Um, and I think like what Shai was saying more so it's like, yes, you have a degree in, mm -hmm. you know, theology and, but it's so surprising <laughs> that you believe in some of the things that mm -hmm. we do, um, because that's pagan right. or considered pagan. Right. You know? But, but, but I, I think it also goes back to intention. Are you doing it ill will? Right. Are right. you trying to conjure spirits that are. Not yeah. good guys, yeah. Right? Are you are you are you are you casting ill wishes onto people? Do you, you know what I mean? Right. Because you could say, okay, as Christians, you could say, oh, please, like I could say, please, God, please let Austin meet you. Like right. I'm right. I'm asking him some. I'm I'm in a way creating a spell. Right. right. Asking, and you don't want to. So I right. would be. I would. You know. You know. What I'm trying to say. Yeah. So you can say, okay, well, that's hypocritical. Yes. Right. It's it's it's. It's okay for for me to say that to you and say, okay, God, I really want I really want Austin to know you and and Jesus and all that. But it's then hypocritical for me to say, well, like mixing herbs right, and right. it is wrong. Right. It's not. Mm -hmm. I'm all into herbs too. Right. So I just think there's a lot that's been left out in education. 
Yes, I it's agree. It's not been passed down specifically for Western culture. It's it's mm-hmm. like it eh, dropped off. Right. And I believe it was through religion. Mm-hmm. We can't have that. We yeah. need one rule and we're going to follow, well, not one, but we're going to follow these rules. Right. Mm-hmm. Uh, we have uh, RPG Elixir with a $5 super chat. And Thank he asks, you. are aliens spiritual? And he goes and gives an example. Do spirits, you know, travel the universe? Or are there spirits we have no idea about? Any thoughts on that topic? I think Absolutely. like we've talked a lot about how aliens are more so dimensional beings, not no, they're, extraterrestrial they're, from they're, space. They're but- definitely spiritual and dimensional. Your spirit guide does not have to be human. Right. That's, so it's like well, look at like like in in Mexican culture, mm-hmm. they have like animals, animals. animals. Yeah. yeah. So and from my understanding, some people do believe that the aliens are spiritual beings um, that can be spirit guides as well. I look at the incidents like the aerial um, incidents in Africa where they were telepathically telling the children. You guys are going to find out. You guys are the future. You have to do this. Was that the one where it was like a bunch of kids and they all saw the same thing and all have the exact same? Yes. I'm not going to give away too much to you. I'm going to cover it on my channel. Okay. Let's not do that. Let's let's make sure we get the (laughs) bad sense. Basically, the aliens were like, this is ghetto. You're the future. You guys need to tell them that if you don't get your shit together, you all will suffer. Everybody on this planet will suffer. So I feel like they're a spiritual being. They were telling the kids, basically, take care of the earth. You only get one. You know, so, yes, absolutely. I feel like they're spiritual more than anything. I feel like they, they, it goes hand in hand with, with like, in order to, or to be able to get like so advanced in technology, they kind of had to become (laughs) spiritual. Yeah. Because like, they're for sure, like we've observed things in space. Yes. So I feel that perhaps they just are aware of being able to reach a higher plane spiritually. Therefore, that's how they've been able to travel so easily. Or something. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I don't. I don't. I don't know enough about it. Yeah. I think they're real. Yeah, they're. they're definitely there's a real. cool app you should get. I, I have it. It's called the. It. It's called Enigma. Yeah. And it's like literally people can just add their sightings. Yeah. So like you can look at Vegas and like there's. Right. There's a bunch of them, yeah. but I always say because like the same thing you said about where with like in Africa where they were like you need to take care of the earth. Also, if you look at the and I say this all the time, but it's so crazy that like it's not more picked up on is when you look at alien sightings. Yeah, there's hieroglyphics of people seeing creatures from the sky yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. But if you look at the United States specifically, the uptick in sightings went up right around the 40s when we were doing all the nuclear testing. Yeah. So they were like, oh, they, okay, yep, they have that yeah. now. All right, we got to monitor. So I feel like aliens more so have a, a, a observational role, not so much a yeah, we're they come look and just, at us. I believe they'd be talking shit on us too. Oh, like, yeah. Oh, they're so ghetto. Look at these monkeys. Oh, look at their planet. Like they, they're thoroughly disgusted with yeah. us because they come from this, let's say, world where they respect the, their, their society. Yeah. They're not kidnapping us and, doing weird stuff to us well maybe some of them experimenting well we've had somebody call in yeah are hurting i was gonna ask right. about that yeah. next like does that really happen we've yes. had people call i think it, it and where do they go they it almost feels like they take them they look and poke and prod them mm-hmm. and then they bring them home they just are curious i feel like just like we got some of their people up the street in area uh 51, 51. Yep. they like to but they'll bring our people back for the most part they keep their shit you know, <laughs> yeah, so, like, yeah. um, I feel like, you know, aliens, that's why I even agreed to do this show is because even though the things you talk about are bizarre, all of them are spiritual in some way, sort of fashion, Skin right? Skinwalkers, Skin spiritual, walk- Native American spirituality. You know, those Wendigos, things are real. Same thing. Bigfoot yes. is said to have dimensional powers at some yes. point and be able to walk through portals and go to different dimensions. Like right. that's crazy. They're, yeah. There are portals here on earth, um, different places that it's just weird. New Orleans also doing a video yep. on definitely a portal, you know? So it's like, George, you may be going there next year, by ooh, the way. I would love to go to New Orleans again. I thought about doing okay, it. George, I love you. Uh, well we, so we did a golf tournament earlier Ooh. this year for the super, for the Super Bowl. Yeah. And next year because the Super Bowl is going to be in New Orleans, they're doing it in New Orleans uh. and they want us to come out there again. Mm. So George, I think we need to tag team. We go there, we do the the, the golf tournament and then we Listen. I'm going to be there yeah. too in January. Yeah, we're not going to oh, play wow, around. You are. We're not going to play around. It's good it's going to nah, be you a, gotta, 
listen. A bizarre uh, I know, reunion. I know and... you don't believe in a lot of things. Mm, you have to be oh, very for, uh, careful. Louisiana when, definitely has it going on. New Orleans everywhere. is like a, a portal. Yeah, no. it is so a hub, you, right? When you go there, because I'm telling you, like, the energy is so thick. Right. Yeah. And it's not just the humidity that's thick. It's the energy, too. <laughs> right. No, no, no. Yeah, absolutely. I've yeah. heard that exactly. We were thing. standing across from La- Marie Laveau's Right, and mansion. that's where I wanted to go. No, it was other Marie. It was, it was Marie Delphine. Delphine, yes. Delphine's mansion. Yeah. And listen. Yeah, I have pictures on. Um, Who's that? A serial killer. Okay. So she enslaved people. Um, and well, she had slaves. She had slaves. Legally, but I think. Legally, because that was. At the time. At the time, that was a right, thing, you said, right? Let's look at the but time. But there was also the a lot of free black folk in um, New Orleans. So it was like. She was mistreating them, and yeah, she supposedly passed away in France. She never made it out of New Orleans. It wouldn't surprise me if American Horror Story got it all the way right, and she's buried. Yeah, she got time. she she got caught up in it by some uh some by some some voodoo, voodoo priestess, and it didn't yeah. turn out so well for her. Yeah, yeah, but, I can um, imagine. <laughs> but it, it's nowhere written. That's what oral about, history. What about vampires? Oh yeah, they're there too. And we're wolves. Team Edward. Yeah. Team hey, I kind of <laughs> always, I was always Team Edward. I know. See, I was team always. Jacob. See, you know what's funny is my girlfriend was super into it. Now my son loves the last one because of the fight scene. He's like, oh, it's he so like good. howls when the wolves howl. Yeah, I, I'm not afraid to say I love the Twilight Saga. I love Twilight. Yeah. Twilight <laughs> Empires are that. real. Absolutely. Well, have you heard of? Uh, have you heard of what is it called? A um. An energy vampire. Yeah, oh, it's totally, not necessarily. Totally. Yeah, it's not yeah. necessarily them taking. Yeah, but blood, there are but actual and, people that and, are like vampires that will attack you in the way a vampire will. Yeah, was well, I have no doubt that there's been cults throughout generations right. where they, you know, they they drink blood or whatever, or whatever. But mm-hmm. I don't think you think really like there's like, also skinwalkers yeah. that look similar to like shapes of vampires sometimes. Yeah, skin what? It? So skinwalker skin is it's kind of a no no term. If you act, like I have yeah. friends, so it's a Native American thing. Okay. It is a shapeshifter. Okay, and it's always said that they become that when they do something terrible, like kill a family member or yeah, like other devious things. But they're shapeshifters. So yeah. there are videos. Yeah, um, and I remember early in this channel, very yes. early, um, Christian and I. Did a video and we had somebody send us yeah. a video of, of their grandmother on a reservation and you see two hunched over little figures running way faster than any human could yeah. across like the valley. Yeah. But they are said to like hunt people like and they'll, and, and they'll and run up on the side of your car. Like so you're driving forty five down a street and they're running forty five next to your car. Yeah. Yes. But it's it's very like I have friends like, that it's are super big on a res. Yeah, yeah. I have I have friends that are Native American that have lived on the reservation. They don't talk and, about Bruno. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I asked him like, un, like, ignorantly. I asked him. I was like, "What do you guys know about skinwalkers?" Like, yeah, we're not going to talk about that. Yeah, I was yeah. Like, okay. Well, listen, yeah. it's some things that they don't talk about. Like when it, like, they're heavy spiritualists, like the Native <laughs> Americans, and like um, when we lived in Utah, my job was like maybe an hour and away, an hour and a half away from like a known area that's known to have skinwalkers. Yeah, Utah's a very. Uh... A spiritual hub, not just because it's a lot Isn't of Mormons. There were Skinwalker ranches. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And that's so like it's a, very much me, so. They are people that have deceased. No. Um. So, Skinwalkers, we call them the best word we can call them for what I believe is is a lugao, which in Creole is like a, a Skinwalker type of thing. So it is a spirit that is able to turn itself into something else. Now, but the difference between a Lugawa and a Skinwalker, a Lugawa could be just like an old lady. They're usually old ladies, and they just are able to shape ship into mainly like cats. A young like lady. a cat and jump over a Or face. a young lady. Like a um, siren? Kind of like we believe in those two. We have, that's our resident. She has videos popping off right well, now about sirens. sirens. Yeah. is a whole different entity. That, listen, it gets a little dicey in African uh, folklore. But, but if, you're, if you're saying that the ocean is only 15% explored, how could you <coughs> say oh, the, that there's not sirens? Oh, oh yeah, We know real. more about right. outer space than we do our own oceans. Yeah. So, like, the skimwalker is, we have them in every different line of belief, but they, in the Native American, and I'm not Native, correct me if I'm wrong if you know this in the chat, um, they're like spirits that can look human, look like animals, but you could tell something's off with them. We'll have to do okay. a reaction it's like the show. Uncanny and, Valley. Yeah. yeah, we'll have to do a reaction. You will see if you're on okay. TikTok, Skinwalkers, um, 
mimics. Those are another thing. Yeah. Uh, where you can hear someone say Alexandra. And you're like, huh? But there's no one there. There's a very popular you know? video of a guy out on a ranch and he's walking with this horse and from the bush you hear, hey. Yeah. And he's hey. like, nope. Hey. And he takes off running. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I've seen that. It, it was like. Yeah. A, uh... Okay. But how do you know that's not that's not a like. If you see it, if you see them, you can tell. That's kind of the thing because there have been real. some ones where there's screams, but you listen to a, a, like a mountain lion and they scream eerily similar to some of these videos. So or, there yeah. is some ways to. Sometime. How do you know that's not like. A relative saying, hey, Alexandra, what's up? Because they're usually at home by themselves. What do you mean? Like, so like the I'm one, about to pull the, up a yeah, TikTok the one I'm telling for... you about, this guy's out in a ranch. Yeah, it was like, like a horse. It was a, it was a, it was some type of camera that they put up to like monitor the property. Like, so it like takes no, videos. No, I, th- I think this is a different one. Yeah, the one, I'm, the one I'm talking about is this guy's walking on his ranch. It's yes. like out in, out in the, the countryside. Mm-hmm. He's walking and from the bush you hear hey yeah and he's like nope and everyone Clear in the thing. comments is like yep that's yeah that's a skinwalker so it's like and that's why i'm like we gotta be open to everything because it's so much in this world that we know about and that we do not you know it's so many spiritual things that happen that's why i said this is hell <laughs> this is hell it don't get no worse than this it's ghetto here it's polluted, it's corrupt, it's all of those things. So it, it just comes down to a point of when does it end? You know, where do we, how can we bridge the gap, Alexandra? Because even you on the, on you guys' show was like, I'm scared of voodoo. Like, I don't be afraid it, because it, you're only fearing it because you don't know what that, it is. Well, yeah. Well, I said, well, I had a voodoo doll when yeah. I was growing up. My grandma gave me one. Right. She was in New Orleans and she brought one back and right. she like showed me how to do the spells. And so she got a real one. Of course I did. Them. Right. Like, right. Of course. Right. Make this boy right. fall in love with me. Uh-huh. Yeah. Right. And, and people don't I know uh, voodoo dolls, puppets are usually used for good luck. They're not even evil like that unless you're putting the intention into it. Right. To Which be is evil. everything. So, mm-hmm. so my, my point is, 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 if you don't know what you're doing, right? How do you know? Okay, so so I'm let me back up. I was mentioning like Taylor Swift, right? Yes. And how do I not know that I'm chanting something mm-hmm. that's that's of ill will to others, right? And so that's my whole thing, right? How mm-hmm. do I not know that? Okay. So, and I'm just using her as an example, right? Right. But but but. Back to the to like I was like oh I don't want anything to do with voodoo I don't know like I said I don't know so how do I know what I'm if I was going to be doing anything ill willed or how do I know anybody wasn't doing ill will to me because I've had a voodoo doll and I yeah there are bad that people also, in every religion right? yes right 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 but it will come down to like prayers it will come down to prayers and spell mm-hmm. work yeah it's the same thing like like when you like your intentions okay you yes. know if I'm if I'm singing a Taylor Swift song or uh, we're not that gonna, was a good point. It's you know, your intention with it. Yeah. So okay. if I'm, if like w- when you go to praise and worship, you know, when you're singing a hymn, you know, you're singing to the Most High. So it's 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 uplifting. It's right. But why can't I have the same intentions whenever I'm singing Taylor Swift? Now Taylor Swift may may have made that song where the words with had the intentions, intentions. Yes. that. But if I'm saying these words from a good place. A great then point. is it a bad thing? That's a great point, right? Yeah. You know, so I feel like it's all on it's all on per- perspective versus reality. Like the reality is, she may have made this song for this intention, right? However, that's not my perspective. Whenever I'm perceiving this song, right. I'm hearing something that's catchy. It's something in the beat that's making me dance a little mm-hmm. bit, and I'm like, oh, hey, I like this, and you know. You know, I've never wanted to be a cowboy, but I may sing Little Nas X, you know, but, you know. Oh, I know you probably think. <laughs> horse, oh, uh, what do you think about Little Nas X? <laughs> what do you think of Is Little Nas Is he making Nas a X? gospel album now? Uh, uh, God, no, the Christians are, <laughs> they literally could have condemned him to hell. Like, they have the reservations Right now. Because he got a lot of dance from Satan. No, because now he is dressed up as Jesus Christ on the cross for his new album. So they have already said, like, we're done. But he said, I'm not trying to be demonic. Like, I am a Christian. 
And they're like, then why are you doing this? You know, so, have, you know, little Nas Because the label told me to, and I signed a bad contract, and they own everything. And that's I a do. lot of it. Is, though. I yeah. mean, a lot of times we put stuff in videos that we may not agree with <laughs> just because it's clickbait. Correct. You yes. know what I mean? It, I have a clip that goes viral every time I post it, and I post it because... Guys, I do this for a living. So <laughs> right. I kind of need to make money. And it says aliens are not real. So guess That's what? I'm going to put a picture of Jesus on the album. Some people are going to buy it because they're going to think it's hilarious. Some people are going like to buy it. Some people are going to mm-hmm. buy it because they simply want to buy it just to destroy it. Right. However, Which, guess what? That helps you them. bought it. You still bought just it. Just like the hate and comments I'm still getting paid. right now. You guys are hate commenting. Yeah. Right. Thanks for paying my rent this month. Right. right. So at the, yeah. end the, at the end of the day, like it's, some people will shy away from the controversy online. Right. However... Yes. If people are coming to my video and they're talking positive or negative on my video, that video is still paying me. Right. Correct. So let's let's keep the conversation going. Right. That's what I said. I don't care. I can I can be fat on Tuesday and I can be skinny on Wednesday. Right. However, I'm a jar that, of mayonnaise on one episode, right, right. and I'm Mr. Bizarre Junkies Man on the next. Right. But that's your that's perception somebody versus called, reality. Once again, you a fucking bar, jar. jar of yeah, mayonnaise. it happened on a. I made a video about. <laughs> Uh, the Appalachian region and how it's it's inherently like a poor okay. region. Okay. And this guy was like, no, it's not you fucking jar of mayonnaise. And I was like, that is great. Actually, that's one of the best things. I saved that one. No, I actually hearted that one. Because at the end of the day, <laughs> I'm, I never heard someone else other than me and saw someone call them a food. Like, I will call somebody a I've fucking some... meatball in a second. Like, just my favorite one is when somebody calls somebody a Fruit Loop. Like, oh my gosh! <laughs> you know what? <laughs> that has so many uh, different uh, layers. Behind it does it. have right. so many layers, but like, it's just like you're goofy. Like, yeah, right. you're a goofball. Right. Like, stop it. Do you um, have any more? Uh, yes, I have, have. I know I you have, have one. one. I don't have any more at the okay. moment, but I, st- I know um, you have one. But I wanted to check with you first before yes. we. Read. Yeah, no, no. Let's Do you want me to read the whole thing, Brie? Go ahead. All right, so. Uh, it's really not even a question. Or well, it's oh. a question, but it's not a question. However, like she was uh, right. Yeah. <laughs> she was saying thank you for uh for answering her question about her son. And then she wants to know, do you do readings? Okay. And she would love to speak with you further. Okay. Yes, I do do readings. Um uh, she said do do. I do do. <laughs> do do. I do do readings. Um I do live readings on Tuesdays and every other day. They are pre-recorded. I know there are some people in here probably like, girl, where is my reading? Every time I get on here or I go viral over on TikTok, I'm currently going viral on YouTube. Yep. I get booked out. So your readings come in the order that in I waves. receive. Yes. In waves. And you guys will get them back in the order that they're received. But yes, we do do live read. Do do. Do do live <laughs> got that in your head now. I apologize. <laughs> on Tuesday. So if you want to speak with me one-on-one, Google Meet, then Tuesday is the day. And um, the link is in her link tree. Yes. yes. Um, so it's now, in, in the, I think it's in the description. I think it should be. Too. And then you have another question, I think, from the yes, same person, Yes, from the right? same person. Thank you so much, April, for sharing yes. so much love. Um, question, since y'all are deep diving, we have family in Taylor, Mississippi, who say they've seen dogmen slash walking wolves. What are, you th- what are those thoughts? Noah, yes, I believe in those two. I actually have a book that I read a couple of chapters out of on um, TikTok and it is ghost stories from slaves and oh. it's no longer in publication. And if you can get it, it's like $200 for a, let me hold some. No, you, you <laughs> won't let me hold some Mr. Big Bucks. Um, so I, I've heard about it. I've heard this from the mouths of slaves. I definitely believe um, like skinwalkers for you yep. guys in hoodoo and African American, they're called hags for the hags, Haitian okay. and West African Caribbean. They're lugawos, you know, uh, skinwalkers for the natives. We but all have the same shit happening in every Wendigo culture. in Canada. But it's also Wendigo, like, yes. uh, it's also like uh, la 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 ma. What? Oh, uh, uh, um, the windes. Oh no, not yeah. The one oh, you talking about the little, the little, the little one. Yeah, the little, there's so oh, like much, gnomes, so many layers. Yes, fey. the fey, like you know, there's layers to this. Welcome to Bizarre Junkies. Well, this is, yeah, this is this is, uh... this is this is what we talk about all day, and we'll be back tomorrow doing the same thing. Yep. Well, they'll um, be they'll be talking. Yes, they'll yeah, be talking. The yeah. audience will be talking. So yes, dogmen, walking wolves, different things like that, werewolves, spirits, vampires, hags, all of that stuff. Um, we definitely talk about a lot and are real. And I wish I had that book. I would have brought it if I knew this was going to come up because that book um, where it is enslaved people talking about the paranormal 
um, different things like that, hags flying through the sky and seeing them with their own two eyes. These are things that come from the South that we've, this is our history as African Americans since we were dropped off primarily there. Yeah. So definitely. Listen, y'all, we live in Las Vegas, Nevada. So everybody knows about Area 51. You know what I mean? Uh, Groom Lake. Yeah. They wouldn't be paying to keep these facilities open if they didn't have things that they didn't want you to know about. Yeah. I I believe that everything that they don't want you to know about, there are museums somewhere. And Area 51 is one of those museums. Yeah, for sure. Oh, Franny's saying La La Chusa? La La Trusa? Is that... that, I'm 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 talking about like... uh, it's definitely some some Hispanic uh, stuff like the the women we watched about where you hear them scream. Like, oh, right. La Yarena. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, I can't say. La, I can't roll. La Yarena. La, 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 yeah. I think. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, and she's, uh, she's raw. I heard her cry in the middle oh, of dead of the talking when, about. Yes. when you're in Mexico? No, no I we was here. here. What? Literally, we were sitting in the living room. To be um, fair, like you go Boulder Highway, you're going to hear that every Right. Night, but... That's not like literally. But I'm in the sub, like. The suburbs of North Las Vegas in my house. It's Which like three o'clock at. in the morning. My children are sleeping, and I just hear this wail, like, uh, yep. like just this. La- and it's on. It's in my backyard where there's like a little bit of a field, but there's a park on the side. And guess what we did? Turned the TV up and took our ass to bed. Yep. Yep. Because <laughs> I'm not answering. What do you want me to do? You want me to call 991 for you? Or are we both going to get... No. It doesn't work like that. I'm going to call 991. I'm going to mind my business. Because if you're not a spirit, then I risk myself. If you are a spirit, I risk myself. It's a lose-lose situation. I went to bed. Okay? Yep. I'm not dealing with minding my own business. Get paid. Uh, in, in North Town, they get paid $100,000 a year. So, who yeah. does? The, 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 the lady cops out there. Yes. 100000 a year? Yes. I yeah. saw it. I see the billboard all the time. It's like 42000 starting. No, they, they, they pay more for women because they want to get women on the force. Wow. Yeah. His sister thought about moving here just to, because she's a cop. So it was like, it's more money here. We but... need to, we got a show right there. Mm-hmm. Spiritualist cop, get in there. No, she's not spiritual. No, no, no you, in... you, get, oh, get you in there. Hell mm-hmm. no. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, first off, I wouldn't put my sister and my wife together. No, no, no. They don't get along. Gotcha. I'm the resident I'm... demon over there. I'll be like, yeah. And you know what? The next time it I keeps see everybody them... out of my house too. Yes. I feel bad because <laughs> no, I don't. And what am I telling? Me and my mother in law have a complex, like relationship at this point because i had to set up boundaries you are a diehard christian woman and i get it but i'm a diehard spiritualist you know i believe in what i believe in i'm not a christian um i do at that point i was not initiated i did plan on being initiated and i said you know what i i'm I'm done me and him we have been married for 13 years at this point and I'm like, I cannot people please a woman that lives 3,000 miles away from me. It just yeah. doesn't make sense. So now whenever I do see her again, I'm going to wear devil horns. Like, remember you said. I was terrified. Yeah, yes. somebody had on devil horns because there's no such thing as, listen, I'm way too protected. The little devil horns and things like that, I feel like it's it's no intention behind it. And if you And if you believe, right, if you ever doubt, like, that you something can happen to yourself or like possession can happen to your son, then how much power do you believe your God has? If you don't feel like he would protect you from that type of negativity. And so that's why I say like now I used to be afraid when I would have sleep paralysis, I used to be afraid of low vibrational creatures and D words. And I'm like, if I'm afraid of those things, how much faith do I have in my spirit team? That's a great point. My spirituality, because if I'm praying to Oludumare, which is our supreme being in the pantheon that I'm in, if I'm praying to him and I have that faith in my ancestors and they're well fed and they don't play about me, then how can I be afraid of a low vibrational D word that can't even meet me in this realm? It's crazy. That's why you square up with them. That's why. Yeah. And at first I do. They startle you. But I'm not going to lie. I'm more afraid. I've seen the low vibrational D words. I'm afraid of seeing an angel. Really? The yes. biblically accurate. The version? biblically accurate. Yeah. I sh- we showed her yeah. on the show. Yes. And they got like a million eyes. Yeah, one of them. I mean, there's different types of angels in the um, Bible, but I'm more afraid to see that. 
And it's not because I'm not afraid or I'm afraid of that high vibrational love and energy. Just aesthetically, I'm scared to see them. If you have a million eyeballs and you have wings. Yeah. So, you know, it, it's these spiritual streets is crazy. You're, Again, uh, it's because it's it's not talked about. Yeah. And not enough. Right. It's like now we're starting to. What's the joke like um, a Jew and a priest going to a bar? You know, those type of yeah. jokes. A spiritualist and a minister is at a call in show or a yeah. podcast episode. It's like if we had more people that were willing to mind their business, their beliefs and everything else, we would be fine because we don't go looking for Christians. Christians come to us. You should really come to my church, you know, or whatever. We don't we have we're that type of religion where we have absolutely no um, interest in recruiting anyone. We don't care. Whatever you want to do. Um, there are a lot of women deities, uh, priests in our, our religion, you know. It's no we don't really subscribe to patriarchy, you know. So it's very, very different. I see somebody we, Yeah, we have one. Uh real quick before I read that <clears throat> the super chat. I wanted to touch two two comments real quick in the chat. Mm-hmm. One of the comments comes from uh, a person named Max trying to shake the table a little bit. Mm-hmm. Um, and Max, Max Max said that Little Nas X also put human blood inside of the soles of his sneakers. He did. He, he absolutely <laughs> he absolutely did. Um, remember, you were saying no. Even I was like, okay, go ahead, fuck around and find out because I did not like that. Um, but remember you said that some people, um, Beyonce was a witch because the music industry is very dark. They be having them do dark shit. Mm -hmm. So it's not, I did not have not put that above Beyonce. I do feel like she had to do some things to get to where she's at. Um, but I also, Jay-Z. Yes. Jay-Z too. But I do believe that she was always being guided by ancestor spirit guys or Risha saying like, can we, we'll get through this. Did she pay? Yes, she did. She had to pay the Viper. Um, but Beyonce has been initiated since she was 13 before she was even, you know, um, yeah. So that, that how was do a we question. know all this, uh, because of the people that initiated her, nobody wants to keep quiet. I initiated Beyonce, you know, yeah, I um, did that. she mm-hmm. talks about it in her songs, talking about her waist beads being from Yoruba, um, talks about Oshun, which is, yeah, she a made a whole album. Deity. She made a whole album honoring de- yeah. uh, deities and, and different things. Is it so. the Blackest King? Yes. yes. Album? Okay. Oh, yeah, that was. But, a- but what's crazy is she disguised it on The Lion King. Yes. And did a whole. Because The Lion King is, is about a, 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 Hamlet, an animal from Africa. Yeah, she basically, and that was my patron's homework for last week after we met. Give him homework? Book. Yes, we have a book club too. So uh, <laughs> that was the horror. Yeah, to listen to Black is King with the lyrics up because there was a lot of um, ancestor talk about her praising them. There was a lot of um, paying homage to African American culture because that is where she's from. She's also Creole. Um, so, but she is initiated. And I think a lot of Beyonce's work, her imagery gets mistaken for demonic stuff because that's westerners not understanding but remember um even you when you edited you guys this podcast episode and she had the crown on yeah. yes um which was channeling um oshun yeah, which i just literally well, looked yeah. up and saw yeah she yes it uh in lemonade beyonce's placing oshun at her crown yes. yeah that's why yeah. she that's why she wore yellow in the video and she like was fiery she was breaking windows was and yes in she was she was channeling that energy. Right. Um, we um, do have a super chat. Okay, perfect. Um, and- I did want to read one more thing though before I read the super chat, and it's, it was just a comment that Shy put, mm-hmm. um, which makes a lot of sense. It really sums up the conversation we've been having so far, mm-hmm. uh, where it says people get caught up in the verbiage of, yes. of things, yeah. like basically angels and ancestors are interchangeable, uh, psychics are prophets, yeah, and uh, and prayers can be spells. Yes. She was like, but it just all depends on how you interchange the verbiage. Right. You know? It, and, and it almost feels like sometimes um, it's like, what's the saying? Do as I say, not, not as, as I, I do. do. Because, you know, they anoint you with holy oil, holy water. Um, our holy water is Florida water. You know, like no, it's, it's, 
It's ape, 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 ape water, water behind on, yeah. Alexandra. Ape she water. blessed that on the episode. Yes. That is blessed um, by an ordained minister, okay? Yes. We still use holy water in um, hoodoo and uh, some santeria practices, some um, voodoo. We still do that. And it's like blowing out candles on your birthday. That is, yep. that's very much so. So do you do that? Uh, yes. Yeah. We blow out candles. I go through probably a thousand candles a year. That's... That's me, the candle lady. I need to just buy stock in them. Yeah, I was just saying, um, they probably love you. They have, like, no, I'm going to make your t- own. I'm getting ready to start no, making I'm some about of our to, own. Yeah, we're about to point, at this point. It's, it's cheaper. Listen. Yeah. Do you know how often? Like, this is part of my ritual now. Like, I have a ritual where I'll go to the dollar store and get ice. Yeah. And I'm buying candles. You too. better buy some black, white, and red candles. Oh, uh, if I see that there's candles on display, let me go ahead and grab mm-hmm. five of each color. Yeah. Maybe I should I know, start doing that. I, listen, and, I know that she's going to use them. Why, why black, white, and red? Um, white is purification. It's for the ancestors. Black is for protection. And red is for ilegua, which is our road opener spirit. Um, make Any four-way street he lives at, he opens the path for you to do anything. Um, if you want to speak to your ancestors, if you want to speak to the Orisha, or um, anything like that, you have to pray to him first. He is the gatekeeper. So I buy a lot of, ra- I should buy stock in him because between that, I'm always begging like, can we please just do this and the third, open the doors for me or whatever the case is. So um, we, we burn a lot of candles and we may or may not be starting some type of candle shop soon here. Yeah, we're trying um, to, we're, I know we've been teasing you guys for we've a long time. We've been teasing you guys for a long we, time. We do apologize, but listen, it is it's Takes very time. it's very expensive to get, you know, enough uh herbs and and different yeah. minerals to be able to do stuff on a on a produce on a mass level, <coughs> you know, and we've already did uh some stuff that we sold online and it sold out in like one day. Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> and they so, sell me out every great. time. Yeah. yeah. But, um, you know, Are it's you using any candles on Saturday. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. It's a lot of yeah, things. Yeah, We'll send you the invoice. I'm bringing, <laughs> real, uh, what is it? Sticky paws at whatever.com. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, um, uh-uh, don't give us his email. No, no, no. It's, uh, Westboro Baptist Church at you know gmail.com. <laughs> I'm not sending the church my invoice. No, but in all seriousness, um, on Saturday, once we cleanse. Yes. Which I don't, uh, they know I'm talking about them. Mm-hmm. I'm, all this is all I'm going to say. I will be cleansing the studio. Um, you and Brian both. We're going to yeah. both you cleanse yeah. the studio. And it involves... My my sefer or what you can consider a Bible, okay. um, my ancestors, and yeah, we going me and my crew, my spiritual crew, yeah, because they're not going. They go where I go. They're like invisible bodyguards, right? You know. So, um, but this this place definitely <coughs> needs to be cleansed. Yeah, and we're gonna do that Saturday. Yeah, please make sure that everybody wears hats. Yeah, or some type yeah. of head covering. Yes, Bye. please. Because. Um, you always protect your crown. Yeah. This is the first time. If you watch her, I don't even think anybody knew how big my head was because I always have a wrap on my hair. Mm-hmm. I to, cover She really my tries crown. to hide that forehead. That too. <laughs> no. But you, I, I told, didn't I tell, or I made, it was you. I made a video about the big foreheaded people of the world that, have you ever noticed we're smart as hell or we're very uh Well, we can diverse. tell you a lot of, you know, a lot of. Yeah. Dome space, real estate to fill up. Yeah. So you guys filled it up. I dream in 4K and everything that <laughs> I dream comes to dream fruition. 4K. For real. Um, oh, have... oh, before, oh, Franny just reminded me. So we had Old Man Liver in, which is the owner of the Pioneer Saloon. Oh, okay. He was in here yesterday, two days ago. Oh. He was sitting in the other chair in A during the show. On the show, it's on the video. You can go watch it right now. He sits down, he goes, I feel like I'm sitting like, and somebody's <laughs> like, I'm sitting inside of somebody right now. Like really? on someone's lap? Yeah. And me doing the investigation with him, we had the same thing happen to us where I know he's not lying to me yeah. because I felt like... Well, no, he was there. Yeah, so he was saying, he was like, I feel this. And he was saying it on, on the show. Mm-hmm. And so he felt something, and that's adding to the Rolodex of in things we've 
yeah. had happened in the last month or two months. Well, you have these going off yeah. as we speak, going all the way up to the, the orange and red light. Yep. So I, it's not going to surprise me. Um, well, I've seen them spike I feel before, like, but not, not as yeah. I feel as like it's going today. to not discourage you. But y'all the one who got to come here every day. I don't come here every day. I come once a week. So this week, twi- three times a week. You're, yes, we're, this week. This is a busy week for us. For you. And I, so I, I, yes, and, and spring. Yes, so it's what like what do for summer. Oh my god, pray, <laughs> pray. I think I'm pray to pray to yo yo God this time because <laughs> only Jesus take the only Jesus could take the wheel during the summer. And the break. wheel is on the school bus. Come back on, to school. on Listen. the school bus. No, but seriously. Um, we gonna start a GoFundMe right now for right, summer camp. Right for summer camp, help me. Can y'all can y'all help us fund summer camp? The the GoFundMe link will be up after the show. Man, because summer camp is summer camp is expi- especially for four yeah. kids. Yeah. But I, I really want to get them into something just because I don't want them to uh, lose anything that they've been trying to retain all year. So um, yeah, but I'll be out. I'm peace out. I travel a lot during summer. Yeah. I take them on their vacation and then we're. We're outside. Yeah, we it's too summer. hot to be here. We yeah. got a couple of vacations planned this summer. So yeah, uh, so. right as the kids get out of school, boom, ten days. Yeah, yeah bye. See bizarre junkies might be heading to uh, Illinois. Yeah, over the summer for an investigation. So we'll see how that's, that. That's yeah, cool that'll be up. that'll be dope. We're, yeah. we're working on it, but I know we're running out of time here. So yeah, I, I got wanted... one more. I got to read. Yes. Um, as I'm reading this one more, I do want to say uh, again to Max. We appreciate you for staying tuned, baby. Yeah, that, that's my daughter. She's creepy like me. Max, how much <laughs> How much have you had in food-wise? How much right. have you and your siblings ate? <laughs> right. No, how, seriously. Started? Is my house clean, Max? <laughs> that's the real question. Are you doing chores as you're listening to this podcast? No. How old is Max? 11. Okay. Yes. Um, and then April. April okay. commented again. Shout out to April for yes. being yes. a rock Shout star. Out. Real one today. She, Jasmine, she's a rock star. April, life. Um, Ambrose, Mel, Asia, RPG Asia. Um, oh, I feel like I'm missing Shy. Shy, you can't, you can't forget yes. Shy because um, Shy was talking to me. I wasn't responding. Yes, but uh, and Franny's I, been. Franny's working Franny, right now, and he's still modding. Yes, that's my guy, Franny. Um, he's everybody be that's here every on week. Saturday. Hey, there's uh, a yeah, lot of people. There's a lot of the regulars. Screens. Yeah, but, yeah. The the regulars, we we love them. We yeah. love all our fans, but the regulars are the are the OGs. They're the, yeah. They're the real ones. E Wellness. Yes. Uh, Halo August. This yep. uh, person is in here again. Yeah. We, we don't know who person, person is. Person. Person. Hello. We were chatting even on person, yours. Person. Person was on my stream yesterday. Yeah. Person's yeah. a real one. Person. Yeah. Person is. Person is. Person live. is a person. Yes. You you are that person. Very much so. Alexander. Yes. The username is literally person. person. Okay. Yeah. yeah, it's not just we're just naming this person, but uh, okay. So what's the last? Uh, the super last chat? one was uh, that's what I was getting to. Uh, April Mojo too. Uh, she just said that it's the best podcast ever. Thank you. Wow. And she's reminding everybody to hit the like, subscribe, and share this. this Log live. in on your kid's iPad. Yeah. Subscribe to both channels. I appreciate if you, you guys. If you got more than one email, go ahead and, and Make switch profiles. Yeah. Switch profiles to that. No, because it's. Uh, it's automatically synced with that Gmail. Yep. So if you got Gmail, more than one Gmail, go ahead and sign in on your other Gmail and like the yes, podcast please too. Please like idea. and <laughs> give us a thumbs yep. up. Your kid's um, iPad, that 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 your work computer, that iPhone seven that you don't use no more that yep. you got your your son playing on now. Go ahead and like the live from from his phone yep. too. No, yep, seriously, yep, yep. <laughs> you know we really appreciate it. Yes. Um, all the support and you know. I, we appreciate you for coming yes. here. I'm sure. thrilled here to be here yeah. and being open. This was um, such a nice conversation. Yeah. And I, everybody was saying that they were they were like, "This conversation is really good." Yeah, and people were like, "This is changing the yeah. energy in the universe." So yeah, we, no, we, did that. we will take credit for that. You know, <laughs> whenever you talk to people that do not have the same, um, uh oh, what happened? Oh, I don't Trey, like Trey broke say, the TV. Uh, when you uh, talk to people who do not have the same belief system as long as you are working on the highest vibration, which is love, understanding, grace, and peace. The conversation will always have lots of blessings, lessons, lessons, and I share in it. And I feel like um, just you being here and being open because I, I am about voodoo. I am about hoodoo. I am about all those things that could be scary to the person that doesn't know, you right. know? 
I think I creep my mom out sometimes. You know, she says she can't watch my videos at night. It's a lot of people that can't. I can't either sometimes. Yeah. Um. So, you know, I appreciate you coming right back because you were just here. Yeah. You know, I, I really do. Yeah. Everybody in I'm chat should give, uh, should give a ton of thanks to Alexandra and a ton of props because she walked right into the lion's den on this yeah, one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because, and I didn't know what to expect. I'm like, I hope she doesn't feel like I'm attacking her. Um, because that was never my intention. You sounded like a closet spiritualist. Sis. <laughs> Maybe I am. Yes. And I was like, you know what? She is a minister, but I feel like you are one of the ones that can bridge the gap. Like yes. everything is not, do I look like I'll put you in a bottle? No. Okay. I do put people in bottles, but that's only if they've messed with me. Okay. <laughs> so what but, does that mean? So basically whenever there is someone who is, like doing something to me or my family or it just warrants and i've only had to do this i think once maybe um and ask where that person is now no. yeah <laughs> listen and i don't want them near me i don't want no harm to come to them i just know that i'm done it's now, like a it's it's like an emotional yeah. restraining order yes or a spiritual yes, restraining a, spir order. a spiritual that and freezing them literally putting them in the freezer um so you uh, Get some herbs or whatever the case is. Put it in a jar. Say your intention like, I want to love them from a distance. And then I go throw it in a river somewhere and it flows it away. Never hear from them again. But they're not dead. See, so stuff like that. That's like the most obscure mob thing I've ever heard. Um, Excuse me. I'm, yeah. We're going to check Lake Mead in 10 years. I would say they're down in Lake Mead. Yeah. No, they are. Them. Yeah, no, no, no. They are. It's a lot of stuff. What kind of barrel did you use to put the body in? Did you... Oh, no. Like, just. Uh, <laughs> I know. I know. I'm oh, just... you said, like, um, I didn't even have to take them very far. But it's just like, it's not that, which people can do harm with voodoo. People can do harm. But people can also do harm with Christianity, the power of the tongue. Y'all even say that in the book. So. Right. You don't need herbs to cross somebody or hex them up and have them like a pretzel. You can just start wishing on them, wishing, praying that they fail, praying that this and the right. third. So, but yeah, if you drained Lake Mead, you'd find a bunch of jars <laughs> and bodies and barrels. Yeah, we yeah. Found, we've already found some. Uh, Franny <laughs> so, said that you'll be swimming with the mutated fishes at Lake Mead. Yes, yes. With the three eye. But. Alexandra, thank you so much for coming on again. Thanks, what have you got Austin. going on? Where, where can people find you? What do you, what do you, anything? No, no Just podcast. Alexandra Harbush I mean, I'm on lots of podcasts, yeah. but Alexandra Harbushka. On okay. Instagram, right? On Instagram. Perfect. Yeah. Miss Black Cauldron, where can people find you? If they're for some reason aren't um, already here, tuned in you. Yes, here on YouTube. And if you are not following me on Instagram and Facebook, please do so. Yes. Those are my struggle platforms. We're working for on them. And listen, I'm I'm old. I don't know how to work any of that. Austin helps me out a lot. Um, so please follow me there. And if you are interested in following along on a spiritual journey with my patrons and I, I am on Patreon as well. Um, I share a lot of private things on Patreon that I would never share with YouTube or TikTok or anywhere else. But she tells so, me. So, yeah, or I tell him. <laughs> yeah, I know. Seriously, I'm like, yeah. So guess we're, what I did today? We're more than just co -host. We're besties at this yeah, point. Yeah, we're that's my my bestie. I'm gonna have to convert you over to believing in God, though. Oh my God. I know. Cause what? What? Hmm? What? When? Why? Where? How? Sometimes why? You said I like to throw hands. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Keep spiritually threatening me. No, we're gonna. I love Austin because he is like multifaceted. And that's why I said um, to like my subscribers, I got emails about you guys' interview and I'm like, you obviously don't watch his content. Don't follow him because you follow me. Follow him because you're going to watch it because it didn't surprise me that he had a minister. <laughs> I mean, I've had a true a true crime or a crime. Who's come to it's crime scene cleaner on. I've had a yes. Sasquatch researcher. Yeah, on. we laugh at you all the time. Um, We're like only only Austin can only go Austin. from having uh, OnlyFans porn star to right. a minister, a top minister. <laughs> like, <laughs> so you know, I I appreciate you both. I thank you so much. I'm gonna follow you online. Um, and yeah, I'm uh, thrilled really, to be here. So thank you to everybody. Yeah, this was a very yeah, enlightening great conversation. Great George great. learned a lot. Say, I, George. Bo -bo. George did take a 15 though. I yeah yeah George it's, and I it's work the middle still. of the day yeah George and I still work middle yeah. of the day I'm not supposed to be back here uh, I'd upload podcasts so okay yeah. what podcast were you uploading where should they find it 
uh, misunderstood. Well, Rachel, you could tell. It's a good podcast. It's just misunderstood. Big... Just had on Kathy Griffin yeah, on Monday. Yeah, she had Kathy Griffin on. So, uh, but thank you so much to everybody for watching. We will be on again tomorrow at 6 p.m. Pacific yes, Standard Time, time to hear your stories because you guys are just as important as we are. Uh, this weekend is a big weekend for us. We are doing a paranormal investigation. This will be the second time for Bizarre Junkies. This is your first paranormal investigation in the on terms paper. Of, on paper. Okay, on paper. All right. All right. <laughs> all, right no. all right. On paper. No. But yes. Yes. We've got is. some cool gadgets. We're going to be working with some. Uh, somebody said spirit box. I mean, we have. I have one literally right here. We have EMF detectors there. Yeah, they've been going off this whole yeah, episode. And I don't so, know what the hell is in this. Studio, we're going to find out Saturday. But I'm gonna find out. We're yeah. going to find out, and then we're going to cleanse it. But that's going to be fun. Um, that's going to be on the Bizarre Junkies channel. But what I invite you to do is become a member of Bizarre Junkies because what yes. we're going to be doing is you're going to be interviewed. I'm going to be interviewed. George is going to be interviewed. We're all going to be interviewed. Yes. And the full interviews aren't going to be in the main video. Okay, yes. So, and and yeah. that's the same for my channel mm -hmm. as well. Um, I do have some members that join today in a couple, yes. you know, but... Um, I'm going to start uploading a lot of exclusive content yes. just for my members that I will never, because usually I'll make it uh, members only for a day and then, yeah. and then that's going to, I'm still going to do that, but it will be eradicated and it'll be special yeah. little, you know, there's tidbits. content on my page. You can only see if you're a member, but what we're going to be doing those with these interviews, we're going to have a way, if we only had three last time. This time we're going to have probably five. Yeah. I'm going to release one, one every week until we release the yeah. actual investigation video. So the only way you're going to see the full interview is if you become a YouTube member, which you could do for as little as 99 cents a month. Uh, please go follow us on Facebook. We're almost at 100,000 on Facebook. We're at 95. How? The content is just, I'm working on it with you. I'm, I'm really, I'm really yeah, working on it with you. Baby, I think I got like 600 people on there. It starts somewhere though. It and starts. 200 and it's so crazy 250,000 on yeah, TikTok. TikTok and Facebook are my bigger <laughs> audiences. I think I have 62,000 on TikTok and then yeah. 95,000 on Facebook okay. and then Instagram and YouTube. I'm trying I'm trying so hard. YouTube just doesn't I keep uploading. YouTube's hard. Yeah, I, kept, I have, I, have yeah. A hard time. I should have more yeah. on YouTube. Yeah, I yeah. uploaded the clip and I was like is Beyonce a witch and like be the um, Illuminati did not want me to put that clip ooh. up cuz they kept hiding it. Really? Really? They kept giving it like one view. Really? I uploaded it two different times. I removed it, uploaded it again at a different time with different tags and still didn't like it. Yeah. Illuminati. Yeah. Yeah. That's the big thing. They're like, Beyonce's with the Illuminati. I'm like, Beyonce ain't got time for that. Listen, we'll have a conversation after this <laughs> because I love me some Beyonce, but you know, when in Rome, you do as the Romans do until the Roman Empire crumbles, crumbles. and right. then you're like, wait, I was never with them. Mm -hmm. But George, where can they find you? What you got going on? Where can Chytrell find more of you? <laughs> I'm just doing, I'm doing everything here at the studio. Yeah. So at Mr. George Carmona, boom. Thank you for allowing me to plug myself. Yes, of course. <laughs> thank you to Mr. Fresh. As always, being yes. honestly in a very integral part of our show. I know. We need to start asking, where can we find you at? Yeah, where can we find you at, Mr. Fresh? Where do you want people to find you at? Because there may be places you don't want them to find you. I, I mean, I'm, I'm on all platforms mm -hmm. however on most platforms i don't talk you know i, I sit back and observe he's you know, the, the steer on every platform i get i get i get followers and subscribers on tiktok just because they know i'm noah's husband yeah so by association they're yeah. like i'm so gonna follow you and you're like All no, right, they, they follow me and i'm like you probably won't see any content though because, well, well, maybe you I, should upload some content. Then. Well, maybe maybe one what day I'll I, maybe one day I'll go from behind the cameras to in front of the cameras. So maybe I'll give people a yeah. glimpse at you know all of my handsomeness. Yeah, you can talk about Lord. Russell Wilson you know. going to the Steelers. Oh, I know good. that was the best. That was uh, amazing. That I was the best. I can't thing wait to see Sierra on a sideline. What, mm -hmm. Why was it the best thing? Because it's funny. No. no, because we want to go to the Super Bowl. You're not going to get George. They're not going to get there with Russell Wilson. You're correct. Have you have you seen us cooking? Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey y'all are y'all are not getting there with Russell Wilson. Okay. You're, hey, you're all right, man. You're Steeler hater. country. Let's ride. Right. No, listen. <laughs> We're not still a country. We still a nation, baby. We're not Steel a country. Nation. We're Let's a nation. Ride. Steel Nation. We're out Let's here ride. deep. And we just signed Patrick Queen. Come on, man. Stop the fact with that us. he's making the mysterious even worse is just yeah. He's, George. <laughs> oh, he's, he's trying to do it like the Powderpuff Girls. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Where, you just see neck That's down. Wizard Kelly over there. We never see his face. <laughs> he turned around. They're gonna screenshot. Got screenshot it. Right. He showed his face. Got his face now. But thank you to everybody for watching. Thank you to everybody in this thank room for you. being a part of it. Uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow night. So take it easy, stay bizarre, stay black cauldron. I don't know. We got to figure out a phrase for you. Stay black. <laughs> <laughs>